had the best verse in that song? No, 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 I be always thinking it's the first dude until I get to that. My dear, my dear, my dear, you do not know me, but hey, I'm <laughs> he going crazy now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Joe Mystical killed that. Huh? Joe Mystical did that better. <laughs> Yo, uh, <laughs> <laughs> microphone check. Sometimes one, the remakes are better, man. <laughs> stutter? Yes. I don't think that counts. <laughs> it's one of those times. I like that song. That too, song actually. is great. Yeah, I hated the premise of that song. <laughs> Yo, what, what? Anytime you find me, you stutter, 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 stutter. Yeah. Like, nigga, why are you talking to her? <laughs> Get away from her. Yo, how that, that tweet said, Mystical said, I came in with my dick in my hand, be cool. He said, how you tell niggas, I came in with my dick in my hand, but be cool. Nah, yeah. man, it's not the time. Yeah, yeah, gonna re- be cool. Relax, Mo. Nah. <laughs> I don't think that's what he meant, Mo. What did he mean? <laughs> what's, the, what's the deeper meaning here? <laughs> You're an Break artist. Down, Come on, man. tell us. Lyrical oh, breakdown. Oh, yeah, we got to do a lyrical I came breakdown. Came in with now. my dick in my hand. Be oh, cool. Yeah. Nah, nah, man. Ice, you don't have shake it fast. <laughs> I'm going to pull up the lyrics. Uh, Mr. Cool. He has to have this song. He does not have shake it fast. Yeah, I know the name of the song, Savon. That... Oh. Do you have shake it fast, Rory? <laughs> 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 you should. You have gentle hands. <laughs> Do you have shake it fast, Rory? <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely the first time I heard, heard a man ask another man, do Rory, you have do shake I, it fast? I have gentle hands now. Well, no, Rory pulled up uh, Smack That with M and Akon last week. That's true. That's definitely a gentle hand. But he called it Smack That Booty. <laughs> Is that, that was the name. Yeah, no, that was not yeah. the name. Nah, it was. They changed it. Oh, like, after the millennium. Oh, right. I'm, I'm telling you, all Rory's yeah. kinky. Yeah. Nah, because you, you guys were listening to the radio edit. Like, I had the explicit uh, uh, choice. Uh, yeah, we got <laughs> it. Yeah. 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 I get it. My give, bad. Me, give me some Shake It Fast. <laughs> yeah, let me hear the first few bars of this shit. <laughs> See? Yeah, said Mike. That's it. Now cut it oh, off. Oh, y'all don't y'all don't know that this is the edited version. No, we know more. Yeah. Listen, I, I don't want to put this on I don't want to put this on audio record, even though I'm about to. <laughs> there might be some somewhere in life where dick was slang for gun in one of those other towns <laughs> in a city I was unfamiliar with. I don't I'm not certain about that. You might be but right about I, that. But no, I, but I, I think that that was a thing somewhere. That is true because I think in the I think it was the Bay where cock meant pussy, and there was a lot of lyrics where I was like, "Whoa, <laughs> that's <Yeah>. really interesting." <laughs> yeah, you You're really forward thinking out there. <laughs> Niggas referring to their guns, they dick. Yeah, you never listen to Nas. I gave you power. I'm never going to a town where the niggas refer to the gun as they dick. You don't know when the drama about to pop. <laughs> you or an orgy. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> you don't know what's going on. You're in, the, in the club, like, oh, all right, cool. Do they right, call but... her dick their gun? Yeah. In certain cities, they do? Yeah. That's crazy. I think uh, Young Tug. Okay. okay. Savon, the girl I called by mistake when I was coming in here, just text back. Hey, boo. <laughs> See? <laughs> Fuck Damn, Sa- Savon was passing? Passing no. some shit off to you? No, no, not, no, no. Uh, I will never. You guys take are Eskimos. Oh, yeah. I would certainly hope that <laughs> me and Savon are not Eskimo brothers. Uh, was, you never I know. never. You never not, know. I never took nothing down on Long Island. That's a lie. <laughs> but Savon is worldwide. Not yeah, it works. No, no, that's, no. The, that's the do right there. No, 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 no. That's you not, guys did a lot of trips to Miami together. That is true. And Atlanta together. That is true. Yeah, y'all are kind of a nasty duo, now that I think about it. We're not a duo at all. <laughs> That's the do you the O. Uh, <laughs> yo, welcome to episode 315 Rory of the Joe Button. off the bat. Uh, is it 315? <laughs> three th- welcome to episode 3. Yeah, let's do a jersey swap after the game, me and you. Uh, welcome to episode 316. <laughs> That's what y'all call it? <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> That's gross. All right. That's gross. All right, I'm going to start this podcast. <laughs> You're not a game starter. Wel- welcome to episode 316 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host, Joe Budden, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here. Parks is here. Rory is here. Erickson is here. Savon the Don is here. And Alexander the Great, a.k.a. Screen Man, is here. Gentlemen, how, how's everyone doing? How's your week been? How y'all feeling? Great. Feel good. Man. Yeah. Feel good. I've been fighting off a cold, but I'm in here. Yeah. yeah. It's that time. It's the weather. Yeah. Yeah. I bumped into a lot of y'all. Yeah. And I, I get all my medical advice from uh, Lyra. So I will not be participating in any flu shots. Mm. Yeah. That's what, what she told what, us. What, what Lyra? Uh, the timeline was up in arms about her not giving her child a flu shot or something along those lines. I'm with her, though. Everyone was joking and clowning her. I'm with her. Yeah, I'm going to fight through shot. this thing. Yeah. I don't think Lyra can spell 15 million, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. Mm, she can definitely spell that. How? She can see it in her account. Huh. If there's one thing women can spell, it's a, it's a dollar amount. <laughs> Anything with currency. Yeah. It's a lot of conversations I'll be watching. That. Let's have it. We have a platform. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You, you space, have a couple Joe, platforms. That's not how this goes. No. But you could just see that we had they have to update the laws to, to protect men. Just sometimes. Oh, oh absolutely. And, and that's it. I agree. I'm not going any further because they'll call me toxic. But, like, some of the, the, the game just be written on the wall. <laughs> that's yeah. all yeah. you're trying to say? But why do women always get quiet when the game is written on the wall? Hey, it's a, it's a large portion of you people out there that have zero idea feminist. what we're talking about, and that's great because I don't want you to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but for those of you that do, why they don't say nothing when the game is written on the wall? Like, when they see the play. No. Because they're not actually feminists. Uh, I introduced y'all already. Oh, shit. There's not, nothing else to do. All right. Uh, well, shit, let's get right to it. It's Saturday, goddammit. You want to shout anyone out? Uh, actually, I do. I want to shout out the people that listen to this with their significant other. Boy, y'all are brave. I listened, I listened to our last podcast and was like, yo, I would never cut that shit on <laughs> around a girl. Yeah, and shout yeah. out shout out to everyone on this podcast that continues to pod with a significant other. It's not easy. It's not yeah, easy. Yeah. Y'all are the brave ones. Yeah. Y'all what, are doing and, a- and and come home every Wednesday and Friday night or Tuesday, whatever day we record. Say, what'd you guys talk about? Nothing. <laughs> Bullshit. Regular shit, yeah. Knicks. <laughs> Knicks. <laughs> Knicks. Still losing. <laughs> I'd be worried about getting stabbed every time I turn that corner in the kitchen. <laughs> Why? What you mean? Why? Don't worry about it. I don't it, know Joe. why it was mad funny. To me. <laughs> well, why? What's going on at home, you guys? <laughs> Nothing. We're just a little toxic on the pod here sometimes. Yeah, there's there's some questionable things we do for entertainment purposes only. Like but, talking but about to- going to Brazil and fucking women. <laughs> but toxic is necessary, though. I think it's necessary. I it's agree, more. Like, yeah. Well, what are you gonna do in Brazil? <laughs> <laughs> to watch, uh, to watch television. They have that. They have that really nice statue <laughs> that's oh, really yeah, high statue. up. Sight so- Soccer, yeah, yeah. soccer. Yeah, soccer. That's all soccer yeah. and sightsee. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's, sights. that's what we'll all yeah. do. Fake, a, a, fake a robbery. Oh please. <laughs> so now was that in Brazil? That that swimmer faked that robbery. Oh, I think it was. Yeah, oh, yeah, that was the Olympics. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, he he beat Jussie. Is that he where Jussie? Zero. Is that where he beat game? <laughs> Damn, you're right. It might be. I never put two and two together. Where do you want to start? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we start with the scammies. I was the I scammies. Was, y'all the scammies. Yeah, y'all, y'all put me on. Who blew the whistle? Deborah. Deborah. It's always a Deborah. It's always yeah, a Deb. Deborah's. Mad they Deborah's got the whistle on Debbie. Deck. Yeah. yeah. Any anytime someone names their kid. Debbie, they're gonna grow up and tell some things. Yeah, that's a fact. I've been crushing the as a sock. Anytime you say the word Grammy, this just pops up in my head. So you so independent that might by catch. Oh, he might have wrote this in Maul's house. <laughs> I might not stop. Place cap. That's when old was going crazy, crazy. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. One of my favorite freestyles. All right, the Grammys, the Grammys, the scammies, the shammies. It's a lot going on. Mm. Give us, give us the backstory. You, you and Parks put me on when I walked in, because I would never think that the Grammys would ever stoop low to do anything that would be fixed or fake. Deborah Dugan. Oh, you didn't even tell me your last name was Dugan. <laughs> I did. It's the snitch name yeah, for no, sure. It's Deborah Dugan. Deborah Dugan. I'm uncertain of what her 
title was, but it was something big on the Grammy she was board. A president she was CEO. The Which recording Academy She was the president. Oh, according to the tweet, it was the former president, but maybe CEO. All right. So yeah. she's she knows the ins and outs. Yeah. High up enough to know. Yeah, yeah they could have told me she was the custodian. <laughs> I would have believed The that. interns right. probably know what's popping. Yeah. We know what's popping. We know what's popping. Yeah. <laughs> former Grammy board president, Deborah Dugan. Dugan has filed a discrimination complaint with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission against the Recording Academy. And I'm reading this from DJ Booth. Shout out DJ Booth, of course. Uh, it says the previous CEO, Neil Portnow, had been accused of raping a performing artist. That information had been withheld from, the board, from board members before voting on a $750,000 consulting fee he'd receive even after he had left his job in disgrace. Wow. I'm going to pause there hmm. so the gravity of that can take effect. Yeah. Do y'all hear that? That's yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to repeat that. <clears throat> yeah, you should. The previous CEO, Neil Portnow, had been accused of raping a performing artist. That information had been withheld from board members before voting on a $750,000 consulting fee he'd receive even after he had left his job in disgrace. What the hell is he consulting about that he gets seven fifty? Yeah, that's nasty. <laughs> yeah. All of that is disgusting. Jesus. Uh, it goes on to say she was the victim of Dugan. Dugan was the victim of sexual harassment by Joel Katz, the Academy's general counsel and former board member. The organization maintained no staff attorney. Telling. Wow. I'm going to repeat that, too. Yeah. The organization maintained no staff attorney, but instead chose to overpay outside law firms by millions of dollars. Well, that's corporate shit. Uh, rampant, uh, rampant conflicts of interest. Uh, rampant conflicts of interest exist among those outside law firms, academy board members, and the artists they represent. Board members receive payments in connection with the work they were supposed to be doing as volunteers. No, that's the game. Academy employees had leveled multiple accusations of racial discrimination. It sounds right. Yeah. The nominating and voting processes are rigged with secret committees, conflicts of interest, and self-dealing taking place throughout, often to give preference to white artists over their non-white counterparts. The allegations against her by, uh, by a subordinate were fabricated in retaliation for bringing all of this to light. Okay, so apparently she's facing some shit too and uh, she alleges that all of that's fabricated and retaliation. What do we think of everything that I just said? Uh, I'm is not it, surprised. Is it shocking, I, I, is it shocking to it's, anyone? I don't think not it's far, far-fetched at all. Not at all. In fact, it's pretty fetched. Even that's sick. I'm going to get sick wherever we pivot in this conversation. But, <laughs> yeah. My thing is, was she, was, was she fired or suspended? I think they said suspended. Oh, Carry on. Was she suspended and this is the reason why she's now coming forward? Like, did she notice why she was still a part of the academy and just didn't ne never said anything about it? I'm sure. Because then that's a problem too. I agree. Like, I don't agree. just say something now because you're suspended. Like, that's usually when things happen though. Yeah. yeah. yeah People are that's usually that's complicit that's, until. Yeah, that's the shit I don't agree well, with. When uh, the hush money runs out. Right. Well, um, in numerous articles that I've read, and this is coming from, uh, these are quotes pulled from Dugan, is that her job there was to just kind of filter through some of the fuck shit that was going on behind the scenes and just get things together. And when she attempted to do that, uh, she received a lot of backlash and was ousted. Those are my words. Okay. Uh, they paint the Grammy board as like a nasty boys club. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds about right, too. Yeah. I've heard this just in corporate America, the term. Yeah. Sure. I mean, this is far from just the Grammys. This, yeah. is, this is a lot of offices and major corporations in the world. This article goes on to say Dugan was hired to replace the organization's former head, Neil Portnow, after he offered a tone deaf response when asked to comment on why Alessia Cara, who won for Best New Artist, was the only woman to accept an on-screen award during the 2018 show. Portnow's suggestion that women need to step up 
showed an utter lack of awareness as to the barriers to success faced by women, women, people of color, the LGBTQ community, uh, and any of those who are outside the white male dominated membership of the Recording Academy. Yeah, that was insane. And that was a year that, that a was, lot of great projects yeah. came out by women. Women like, killed. A lot were snubbed. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was, was a really, SZA, it was a really shitty year for Solange. Like there was a lot I think of good. Anti might have been in there too. Yeah. It was one of those years yeah. where it was like holy Rhapsody, shit. I think. Yeah. And but this yeah, is, that this, that was a nuts response. But this <laughs> is to our our common and re- reoccurring point on this podcast. Why do we put so much respect on some of these institutions rather than the art form itself or the art itself? I mean, that's what we were taught. Yeah, it's a it's a conditioning thing within music. I mean, you see your favorite artists ever, for the most part, getting them, and you think that that's, when going into your music career, that's a goal I want to hit. I want to have a Grammy. It's just in our brain that that really, really matters to us. And then you get there, and you realize the politics of it, and it doesn't mean you had the best album or the best work that year. It just means you were with the right people at the right time. Yeah. And it's one for of the those, most part. It's one of those awards that you grow up watching, and every respect, respectable, every popular every successful artist is in one room at the same time and if you're an artist you want to be in that room yeah. because then you feel like you've arrived you've made it you're now one of them which, well, that's, which, the, that's the smoke that's the smoke in the mirrors part they always get us with the with the aesthetic with the optics of it yeah. all our favorite artists they're all beautiful we're gonna see these performances great great mm-hmm. at that time i had no idea how how much labels were involved in mm. in the award winning process or the nominating process? Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't know there was a board. I never knew there was a board. Mm-hmm. And if I'm speaking truthfully from an artist standpoint, that's when I lost a little bit of. Like when I was nominated for uh, Pump It Up, knowing I wasn't going to win because the category was stacked, I felt great. Like I called my mom. I told her like it's one of those. No, things. getting oh, Grammy, absolutely. getting so, nominated so, for a Grammy is so, fucking so I to- amazing. I totally understand. <laughs> why people feel that way uh but i didn't know about a board or any of that when that happened mm-hmm. and the second i learned about a board i said oh okay it's a little different yeah it's a little yeah. different because because then then you start hearing about different ways that you need to schmooze up to the board to better your chances yeah, this people. has been around i heard this years ago but it's kind of one of those things it's like how do you fix it because if you go with the people we get back into all the things we hate about what people are doing with streaming now and these little tricks and these ways of using their stand hives and crews and whatever you want to call them the same way Bieber just did like they'd find their fans somehow all right you have to vote at this time and refresh your page and then vote again like it would become bullshit too if the fans decided so you kind of can't win for losing with this it's not that's why music is is weird in the award category because it's not like the nba where of course you can debate who is the mvp but for the most part it's all right he probably deserved if not should get that it's more cut and dry because music is so subjective and so weird in that case that how do you even fix this type of shit well for me let me respond for for me yes music is subjective but if you don't get your award either from the art or from the people, mm. then you have some questions to answer to yourself. Yeah. Like, if you're doing it for the art, you get your award from just the amazing art that you are creating, mm. right. uh, getting better at it, just tinkering with it, all of that science, science, mad scientist shit that creatives go through, or from the people. Like, yeah, I never won nothing, but the amount of people at the show that come up to you and tell you all the shit, it makes you feel good. Yeah, like, yeah. so great. Why do I have to schmooze, schmooze up to the the Grammy board? The one, especially one year especially that, one when year you, that, you look at that list of the Grammy board and not know one fucking name on there and be right. like, who are, you, who are you to be, tell me who can be on this list or not? I think one year they told me to perform or something at one of the, because they do parties for Grammy weekend. Right, mm-hmm. right. I think one year they told me I would have a better shot at a nomination if I performed at the Grammy board party. Oh, yeah, yeah, party. absolutely. And wait, and, and, and all of this is after I learned that uh, my label has to submit me to even be in yeah. contention for any of this shit. So yeah. I mean, a lot was learned along the way that that made me view the Grammys a certain way. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be grown when certain artists started to boycott the Grammys mm-hmm. as well. So I had a pretty good understanding there. But this is really big news that 
it seem it seems like uh they're doing their best not to really cover it. Uh Dugan was on Good Morning America the other day. Uh but this can't be good right before Grammy weekend. I think I only recognize Paul Wall on that list. List of what list are you? This reading? is the trustees uh of the recording academy. Oh, and then later oh, Leslie Jones. Wait, oh, and then a few wait, years later the but then a few years later, after the performance bullshit, after when I when I was nowhere in commercial uh trying to be commercial or trying to get a Grammy or trying to appeal to a wide audience, then they told me I could be on the board. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well once you're nominated, I think you're al- allowed to be on the board. Yeah. But like that's a, a crock of shit. Yeah. yeah. It's a crock of shit. It's the same way they need to update the people. I, I get so angry every time, that, and this is unrelated, but it's not. When the baseball, when the uh, when the Hall of Fame shit come around, and it's the writers and people that could vote. Yeah. Like, when do we update y'all? Yeah. Barry Bonds never really got caught cheating. By the way, I just want to say that <laughs> he should be. People may have forgotten that. Yeah. They didn't catch him. Yeah. We just know. <laughs> well, with with how the board works where it's fucked up and I don't know if it's still this way they should break it up into genres like if you're nominated for best rap song in 03 and, and you now have the opportunity to be there you should only fuck with rap shit in my opinion like there's a group of, of Grammy trustees and board members they don't know shit about country they'll know the most popular name right so they're like alright well I'll do that one and, and that, it works that way more against hip hop because most of the people on that board are not hip hop. More so they'll see the, the high level name that may not deserve it, like a Macklemore against Kendrick, and be like, well, I mean, I guess do the Macklemore guy. He's on TV every day. Right. And more importantly than that, they know the guy that he's signed to. Oh, of course. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the real mm-hmm. in. It's like, oh, that's my man. That's his artist. He's on his label. Yeah. Let's give him the nod. I'm going to watch. Me too. I'm going to watch, but I don't give much credence to the Grammys. No. No. Um, no, I think it's it's cool if, if you have a Grammy or nominated for one. I totally get your excitement. I think it's it's a foot to say that as well. I'm not taking that away from anyone. But if you don't, I, I wouldn't care too much. Right. Still be a great artist. Yeah. Yeah, like I'm super happy for Lucky Day with all of his nominations. And just to make it clear... I'm not happy because he received a whole bunch of nominations. I believed in his art. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So to me, when that happens, whatever is supposed to happen will happen. Lucky Day to me is that great of an artist that four nominations, whatever that was, that's supposed to come. (laughs) Yeah. That that, that should speak to, all right, I'm doing what I got to do. Not me bowing down to y'all recognizing me doing what I got to do. No. No. Nah, nah I yeah, just, for I'm me, just even mo- if he wasn't nominated, I still think he's a phenomenal artist. Like, that wouldn't change anything for me. Yeah, but remember, a few months, a few months back, I came in here and 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 spoke about uh, all of the, the artists that we see perform in that. What's that spot when they put the new artists on before the commercial? Lucky Day was one of them. Her was one of them. Yep. Yeah. And now a year later or a few years later, so we could kind of you could when you know that you could kind of see some of the politics. That they're, involved. that they're paying yeah. attention to. Yeah, they start locking in on certain artists. Yeah, and don't try to distract us with the fucking Nipsey tribute. Even though I am going to watch the Nipsey tribute. One of y'all fans out there is stupid for saying that game is going to little mama that Nipsey tribute. I, 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 I can see it, though. I saw y'all say it. <laughs> I, I, could, I, I could totally see I it. I seen it. I seen him say it. <laughs> and as soon as I read it, I said, damn, they got a point. You all think game going to let a Nipsey tribute happen? <laughs> Yeah, he'll be there. And you he'll know, be how, there. game cleaning it up would be the best part too. Yo, Nip- Nipsey told me before he died if they ever did a Grammy tribute. Yo, Chuck, <laughs> oh, you need to be on that stage. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be an interlude on the next album. That'd just be funny <laughs> trying to see niggas get game big ass off the stage. A word? He ain't, he ain't, he ain't, no, game ain't he gonna ain't budge. The tiniest of dudes. No, good luck. <laughs> not at all. Oh man, how many how many big rappers are there? Now that I'm thinking about it, not, not many, not many. Not a lot. Game is definitely up there. Yeah, most rappers are pretty short, really. It's game. It's Slim Thug. Hov is tall. Hov is tall. Buster now. Buster, yeah. But when you talk to Hov, you never think Hov's going to snuff you. (laughs) No. Yeah, no. (laughs) That's that's, that's not not his vibe. (laughs) Yeah, no. Uh, The gentleman next to him (laughs) won't even snuff you. He'll give you like a chop that'll (laughs) dislocate your whole body. Yeah. Oh, Waka's a big dude. 
Yeah. Wonka's, Wonka's a bigger guy. Yeah, these Davies are, is tall. Davies. These are all people that I, I'm breaking a bottle uh, for in a fight. <laughs> You'll need some assistance. I'm going to have some. <laughs> I'm going to have some, too. Um. All right, yeah, man. That's all I got for the Grammys. I, I don't... Scammies. Yo, hey, Scream, man, don't pull up rapper's heights, man. What are, you, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You being, like, a little too efficient at your job, man. <laughs> Yo, mom, what's up, man? We ain't even get into you. Pause. But what? What happened? What I did? Uh, no, what I did? Sitting so close, I could trip the ref. We're not doing that. Mm. No, it wasn't that close. You, Is it courtside or I, the courtroom? Mmm. <laughs> Either or. It depends on what day it is. From, from courtroom to courtside. Yeah, it depends on what day it is. But he won't court. Yeah, no. <laughs> but he will not court. No. Shit is crazy. It only makes sense that he tossing around Knicks. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we doing a jersey swap. No, that's a hove line. <laughs> no, but still. Still, man. Y'all are stupid. I, I got to get a signed Rory jersey. You know what's funny? I said, like, and now when I post on social media, I just know I'm like, look, they going to find some oh, way yeah. to take this. And be no, like, that's oh. why I stay away now. I'm not doing nothing on there. Well, for the fans who are out of the know, recently, Marlon's recently, one, <laughs> yo, Marlon's one of the worst type of basketball fans. Boy, do I hate all of these. Why the Lakers? The Lakers came to play the Knicks, and which all, happens what once every leap year, one once a year, <laughs> once a year, and all of these basketball fans came out and got the Garden rocking for the opposing team. Of course. It's always like and that. More, that, that, and, yeah, that and, happens and more. It's like that every home game. game. Yeah, but that ain't, come on. Every game yeah, is that, like that. Or, Orlando gets it rocking. Yeah, <laughs> every game is like that in, in the Garden. That's why they don't care about the team because they sell out every well, game. Well, give, give us a, some in, inside info, man. Who, you, who What girls you seen up there in the family and friend section? No, I don't keep uh, Who'd you walk through the tunnel with? I didn't I didn't see I didn't didn't see uh the opposing team. I didn't wait around to see that. I just, you know. There was even, a few in the building. Even though that's your team? Yeah, I'm not, I didn't care about that. You didn't try to flick it up with any of the Lakers? No. <laughs> I, I seen up. that shit on Maul's story. I said, Yo, Maul just Maul don't want to invite me nowhere. You know why I felt <laughs> you know why I felt kind of a way? Because I said something during the Tuesday pod off mic. I said, Yo, y'all trying to go to that Knicks Lakers game. Maul was real quiet. I didn't know they was playing, and that's when I hit I hit Julius, and he was like, "Yeah, I haven't, you know, I don't, I don't follow the Knicks like that. I, I keep up with Julius." So Rory put you on, you hit your Nick friend, <laughs> and, 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 and went to the game. Yeah, well, I'm a Lakers fan. I'm a Knicks I, fan. I didn't even know they was coming. <laughs> no, I, I didn't know the Lakers was coming to town. So I had to see that. I had to see LeBron in a Lakers jersey in person. All right, well that's great. Talk to me about Zion. <laughs> you look good. You did look good. Got to lose a lot of weight though. So how do you look good if you have <laughs> yo, this podcast is amazing. He played basketball he played well. Yo, yo, he, he looked good, well. man. He's just he fat as shit. He, he basketball well. He's really overweight, man. Don't he see looked, how he's going to stay on the court at that weight. Yeah, that's what I'm Third saying. Third heaviest played, player bro. in the league. Looked great. He looked great he played for, well. for his conditioning, but, I mean, he, he does have to get in game Y'all sound like me when I be <laughs> telling, them, telling the thick queens that they look great, like when they be insecure about themselves and they want to change everything you love about them. <laughs> No, he has and, to and then they score that. 20 points in the third quarter. <laughs> now, I'm leaving the second that you come back from Columbia, by the way. <laughs> That's the part that they don't never talk yeah. about. Hey, you go ahead and do whatever you want to do to yourself. I won't be here. <laughs> I'm out. <Yeah. laughs> no, I like that waste. 100%. All right, come on, Mo. Give us your deep dive. Zion looked great, he looked but good. he didn't. No, he looked good. He just he has to get in, he has to get in better conditioning, though. He has to. It's going to be hard with that New Orleans food. Yeah, yeah. He's young too. It's gonna be hard. Gum, with gum, gum, gumbo and Bourbon Street. Yeah. And right, let me preface this. Let me preface all of this with, listen, I'm gonna stick to this Zion hate. Right. <laughs> like I, I like want, it. I want to see him succeed. I want to see him do well. I think he's an amazing talent. But I, I started out hating. <laughs> no, he started out loving. And then... Nah, but once he didn't come to, to, to uh, my team. Yeah. Oh, naturally. Uh. Yeah, that's how it goes. So I gotta continue to hate, man. So if you if listen, he would have done that in a Knicks uniform, oh, he's, oh he's let's let's retire his number screaming. now. Nah, put his face on the top of the Empire State Building. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are y'all talking about? Yeah, he's he gotta lose a lot of weight though. What, why? Tell me why I'm supposed to care that Zion scored 17 points in a row in a losing effort against the Spurs? Because he's Zion in his first game back, and I mean, yes, yeah, his first game. Am I falling the, the, for the NBA hype, yes, the hype NBA, machine? The NBA has a lot, a lot of money invested into Zion. Joe don't. 
I mean, you pay, I don't you have pay a, your cable bill. I don't have a red cent invested in Zion. Well, because he's not a Nick, so you don't use That's my point. Less. I'm not emotionally invested. Yeah, I don't have a, a dollar a, invested. As a fan of basketball, just nah, watch no, it. No, no. See, that's sweet. No, looks, no, no. Stop. Slow down. Let, Joe's not a fan of basketball. No, 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 no. Let, 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 not, as, a, as a fan of basketball, mm-hmm. let me tell you a few things I've seen. I've seen Kobe Bryant score 81 points in a game. I've right. seen to that. Okay. I saw him score 74 and three quarters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I've seen Clay Thompson score. What did he score? 60-something. 60-something in three. But like 12 dribbles or some shit. Like yeah, that. something <laughs> stupid. Some crazy I shit. saw Devin Booker go for 71 or some shit, right? Yeah. I saw David Robinson go for 71. I'm telling you all the things I was amazed at. These right. some sick numbers we just throwing out. Why the right? fuck do I give a fuck that he scored 17 points in a row? Tell me. He's a, he's a first, nice first game back. I've seen Steph Curry back. score 50 points in a quarter, all threes or something stupid like that. Why do I give a fuck that Zion scored 17 points in a row? Well, it's his first Ooh. game. <laughs> this is his first game. Ooh. I don't know if, if you you keep up with 24-hour sports networks, Joe, but Ooh. they will make more out of less than this. <laughs> Ooh, the guy that's been working on his set shot made some set shots. <laughs> yeah. That's something, See, it's working. That's something to applaud. Some, a lot of dudes uh, yeah. work on their set shot, no. and guess what? No. They don't make no set shots. I'm not applauding. Okay. <laughs> not applauding. You're hating. I'm cool. stick and I'm sticking to my hate. Yeah. I asked y'all to come in here and tell me about some of the things that y'all hate because y'all come on here and just love. Yeah, spread love. And and I protect y'all hates. I got about seven things that Maul hate that I'm protecting. <laughs> Relationships. <laughs> No, why do no, you think we, I hate Sedgy relationships? has seven no, girlfriends. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. <laughs> yeah. Mall, we're not, Mall, I, don't, I, I don't hate relationships. No, no, it's fine. We do that every <laughs> week. We're not, we're not, we don't have to do that right now. But I got seven mall hates that that's I protect. A, that's a narrative that you have created that the listeners, for some reason, believe. What? Mm. That we just, the three parks, Mall and I, come on this podcast and just love everything. We love every artist. Well, we're this, protecting our relationships well, right, with these artists. Well, we don't hang out with artists. Yes, you do. Well, Mall does. Yes, you do. <laughs> what artists? The three of you do. What artists do I hang out with? All three of y'all hang out with artists. I'm the only mm. one that don't. You hang, hang out with artists. I hang out with you. You're an artist. Name one. I'm not an artist. <laughs> You're with Safari every day. That's true. Safari's yeah. an artist? Yes. yes. He has an album he has coming soon. a billboard soon. in Flatbush. He has an album coming soon. I'm done with y'all. No? <laughs> now, now you done? He has an album coming. <laughs> yeah. And you stay protecting your relationship with Safari. <laughs> yeah. That's a fact. <laughs> you talking We about? saw you at the wedding. We know you have the EP early. That's cool. Oh, Maul don't want to talk about that. Mm. Wait, oh, you got EP. some exclusive ones? Wait, hold on. Let me call my... Call my... Uh, Your Safari? EP? <laughs> no, nah, Maul don't... Maul don't want to talk about that Safari heat that's coming coming to his man. Woo! Mm-hmm. Yeah! Fuck, yo, you, you just got to love Safari. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm going to talk about you it. You see don't the rollout with the, the Reddit out IG page? Oh, come on, man. Why the fuck my dad won't answer the phone? Oh, wait, Fuck. What did you your dad have to do with that? Uh? No, because it's the best thing in the world to call my dad and, and tell him that Wilt never scored 100 points. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. He defends Wilt? Yeah. He was oh, playing okay. against plumbers. <laughs> Yo, if you say that to my dad, boy, why he oughta? Wilt did score score no fucking 100 I'm going to keep points. it real. I, 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 I really believe that he did it after Kobe scored 81. I was like, he Wilt definitely scored 100. Because who he was playing against, yeah, it was five, like... Five, seven whites. Yeah, it was Copyright. like, I, I don't yeah. even... Now I believe it. I don't need to see it. I believe it. But it's not the 100 that I'm mad at, because that never happened. <laughs> it's the other games where they're like, oh, that's the game Wilt had 90 rebounds. <laughs> like, shut up. I shut the it. fuck up. Shut I believe up. it. No, please. Look at the competition that was out there. If you bro. put me out there with my kid... Right now, I'm going to have 100 rebounds. Yeah, exactly. no, that's what so we're that's suggesting. It probably happened. Did it. So why do these why do these people get married to it like that? Like, who cares? I mean, it's a stat. He can't oh. can't be mad at when Wilt was born. I mean, he did what he I did. I can. Nah. I think the most surprising part about it is that it was 100 even. How did he hit 100 even? Because he couldn't hit a free was, throw. He was bowling. Because <laughs> he can't hit a free throw. <laughs> Subbed himself out. He was the coach too. Okay, fair enough. Touche. Y'all think Wilt ever Look fucked? Look at his career averages. Yeah, I'm not looking. I'm not looking at that. 50 <laughs> rebounds a game or something. 30 and 23. Yeah, <laughs> That's a career That's average. not a season average. average. 30 and 23 of my career. Y'all think Wilt ever met anybody in y'all family? Uh, what are you trying, are you to, trying to suggest here, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you getting at here? I'm sure yes. Yeah. My aunt used to go out with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. 
Oh, I was a high school boyfriend. Oh, you know what time it was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. You no, know, he, he, went, he went to Rice. Well, it wasn't Rice. It was uh, Powell Memorial. Was that oh, the name of it? Oh, I don't care about that. I'm on your aunt still. <laughs> <laughs> no, she did. Rest in peace, Rice. <laughs> he yeah. went to Power Memorial. Let's get back to your aunt. <laughs> yeah, no. She did. She dated Kareem Abdul Jabbar. Is that how you got so cool with all the NBA players? No. <laughs> that was your in? <laughs> no. I need Park's jersey too now. <laughs> no. Wait. That is how Maul got in. That's, that's how, how you got in the game. No. Yeah. Not, that's, that's, Kareem, that's Kareem's nephew. I'm not in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the game. That's how he's a Laker fan? <laughs> yeah, oh, you yeah. are a nasty dude. It's not why I'm a Laker fan. It's from Kareem. <laughs> no. no oh, man. man. This guy hook was yeah, not how, That's not how I became a Lakers fan, no. No. <laughs> Uncle Reem. <laughs> Reem is just yeah. makes it even worse. Uncle Reemy. Reem. <laughs> you can't call a nigga named Kareem Reem. Uncle <laughs> Especially if he was Reem and Yo, what you used what you used to ask for Uncle Reem? What you used to I, oh. I never met him. Oh, wait, it's my dad. <laughs> he about to go oh, crazy. This. Right? Yeah. Pop. Uh, hold on, let me turn so I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm 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 doing my podcast, right? And we was talking about Zion 17 points in a row, and then I went on to talk about all the great games I've seen. Kobe's 81, uh, Dave Robinson 71, Booker's 71. I have a question for you. Yes. Do you honestly believe that Will, Ch- Will Chamberlain scored 100 points in a game? Yeah, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> Give it to me. First of all, the reason it wasn't shown because the Philadelphia 76ers played at the Spectrum in Philadelphia, but they had the circus in town that day. So it was unexpected conflict, Plain and they played circus. the game outside of the Spectrum, but they didn't have the regular video, or whatever they had, but they had statisticians, the regular NBA statisticians there. And I can, I can almost tell you what he shot. He shot 28 for 32 from the free throw line. Dead. And the rest was run, and the rest of them was field goals. For you he to be the greatest offensive curls. player of all, all right, time I in don't the wanna... NBA. Oh, my God. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> L- listen, for you to be such a big conspiracy theory guy, I refuse to believe that you believe that the circus was in town. <laughs> so that's why we don't have footage of the 100-point game. No, that's why it was a home game for the 76ers. They you, didn't play the spectrum because something was going on in the spectrum. Will Chamberlain. Will Chamberlain is better than uh, Devin Booker. <laughs> I can't curse you. you on your eye box, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, I'm not. I'm not doing this with you. I'll call you when I'm done. Listen, man, the greatest offensive player <laughs> ever <laughs> to put on the field, thinking fifty point four a game. Pop. 50, he, listen. He led the league in scoring and assists. It was a league full of mailmen and milkmen. <laughs> he did it, though. Why nobody else wasn't doing it? He still did it. Because they had jobs. <laughs> <laughs> they had to hit the rules. Yeah. <laughs> they had shit to do. <laughs> they changed the rules behind them. They had to enlarge the three seconds. They had to do no more dunking. They tried everything in the world to stop them. Everything. Got it, Bob. Great athlete. He also ran track at a college. He was a great athlete. He wasn't just no big man. He was a gifted big man. <laughs> Ask right. him and the lady. Oh, Ask oh, him and the lady, too. Oh, oh, all right. <laughs> no, no. We just throw that in. No, That's we part just of the talk, no, Hey, Pop, we were just talking about that. Will apparently have, have, have met a few family members of Maul, Parks, and Rory. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, well, well I, I like Maul and I like Parks. But uh, <laughs> not, not me. Right not me. So, so, Thanks, Pop. So whoever he met, he was playing them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They they said that hundred that Will scored, he could he got he could have got a hundred with some other things. Yo, like that's I a said, fact. it's a family podcast. So because yes. I know I know some Pop. <laughs> I know some every family week this podcast. It's definitely not, it's a, family not a family podcast. Yeah, because I know dudes that score oh, eight okay. a night and they all got right. about a hundred bodies. So all right, enough. Yeah. All right, <laughs> Pop. I'm going. Yeah. I'll call you back. A couple people that's not in the NBA. <laughs> Niggas averaging seven, knocking everything down in the city. Okay. <laughs> According to whatever Screen Man pulled up, Wilt's nicknames were The Load and Big Musty. <laughs> <laughs> Big Musty. <laughs> he want to be, be me so bad. <laughs> <laughs> big Musty. <laughs> it's only one Big Musty. <laughs> 
the big musty. <laughs> Ma, why you don't want to talk about that new safari heat, though? I didn't hear it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're recording on Thursday, half of this, right? So whatever new music drops Friday, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll but, cover it Wednesday. But I, I've been privy to hearing Safari's project. Mm. And I came in here and I let more Rory and Parks know. Dan, mm. number one on that industry list now. Right. Got that Safari project early. I, I came in here and let more Rory and Parks know <laughs> that Safari. Who you had bars for? Flea. Mm. Okay. Going Cam? You going at him? I'm just saying Flea. I don't want to brew the beer. Well, we know who Flea is. Well, there's a couple of Fleas. Maul is Flea. Well, Cam is Flea. And Maul. Just, just right, Maul, Maul and Cam. Just Cam. No, <laughs> just, <laughs> just Cam. Just Cam. Y'all are Fleas. Just Cam. You low no, Flea? We're not Fleas. <laughs> <laughs> just Cam. Low you, Flea. Low flea. <laughs> you Cam and Flea. No, just Cam. Cam is Flea. Uh, yeah, no, Safari, Safari, you thought Safari forgot about that slick shit I Cam did. said? Mm. I did. No, he, did, he's, he didn't. He's like Hove, he only responds in his bars, he don't respond in the media. Mm. Mm. Nah, you right, Rory. <laughs> yeah. He is like Hove. You right. He is like Hove. Yeah. Did you see his billboard in Flatbush? No, I haven't been to Flatbush in years. Uh, well, there was pictures of it. Uh, my favorite part was when they started with hits such as... <laughs> <laughs> no regular such as, girl. Such as what? <laughs> That's how they listed the hits, with hits such as, <laughs> no regular. I feel girl. like he said that over the phone, I never and they literally just wrote it on the billboard. Listen, Safari gave it up. I showed you how to wear furs. Now who really flee? See the thing about that is, <laughs> <laughs> who really flee? Cam now? was wearing furs before we even knew who Safari was. Nah, nah I, I never saw him in a pink nah. fur until Safari, uh, Safari came on the Safari scene. Safari had a fur on too when Cam was rocking him. Oh okay, yeah. yeah. I didn't know where Safari you think back then. Where do you think he learned it? Safari. Yeah. Ex- right. So if you know that, then honestly, who's really Flea? No, and Think then and it. then Flea being Cam's name and Flea being like, no, I'm fresh. Mm. You see what he did with the word? Okay. Yeah, wordplay. You're right. You're right. He is like hope. Do you guys? Do you guys? <laughs> do you guys know that? <laughs> you see more quiet over Shut there. Shut up, part. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, because he's analyzing it. He's putting two no, and two together. Right right. Did the bar didn't hit you yet? Trying to digest all yeah, this yeah, information yeah. y'all are Why is Maul analyzing things funny? <laughs> well, <laughs> just all right, hold on. Digest. In Safari's defense, he did teach Joe how to wear a fur. That's true. I keep telling y'all, Joe is Safari number two. Jafari? Yeah. <laughs> Jafari is, that's the next Watch the Throne? It's Jafar. <laughs> Jafar? Yeah. You see that. I'm flea. <laughs> You can't wear a fedora with a with a chinchilla though. What are you supposed to wear? No, you can. You can, but you probably shouldn't. What, what, what's the proper? No, you, I mean, you can. What's I the I proper could, headwear? If I could find a barber that knows how to do a baldy properly, I'll stop wearing them. How? What? You keep saying that, and that is the funniest Fam, thing to me. How do just, you not know how to do a baldy yeah. properly? How, how do you? Yeah, do that shit yourself. Get him to Rocco. <laughs> Fam, you don't know how deep that is. It's, I don't. It's deep. That's why I'm keep asking. All right, what do so you mean? Let, let me go go through real quick. Even though I don't really think this is compelling content, uh, rest in peace to my uh, grandpa who did the nair every morning. Oh, for real? Yeah, smelled the whole house up. Um, <laughs> Can imagine. Ma, most men that have baldies, their shit ain't really bald. It just appears bald. The barbers are cutting all of the hair off to where it's not visible anymore. And for me, a light skinned man. That's not a baldy. You have to cut the hair at the root of the hair so that it all feels bald. And you would be shocked at how many barbers don't really know how to use a blade to cut a hair at the root of the hair. Now, that sounds like a really simple thing. Nothing to get deep about there. It only gets deep in New Jersey where most of the barbers are Spanish. And where that pays a, uh, plays a huge part is black hair. It turns into a cultural thing. Mm. Black hair is tough, coarse hair. Mm. Strong. Don't let me get into all that black people the greatest shit. Mm-hmm. But that's how our hair is. Mm-hmm. So if you up there just bullshitting around, nah. <laughs> nah. Now I'm going to feel like I got mad patches on my hair. Now I'm going to need to sit here for an extra two hours because you don't know what you're doing. You keep pulling out the little uh, the little machine thing that ain't doing nothing. You pulling out Bix? No. Get the hair <laughs> off my head. There, okay. that's the end of my bald rant. You can get the uh, right. laser treatment. Yeah, there you go. Fam. <laughs> you get a wax. A wax. Yo, I'm telling y'all something. Once I go, I go. So if I'm getting the laser treatment, I'm getting the fake teeth, I'm getting fake abs, 
I'm getting fake every, I'm doing fake everything. <laughs> Why would you do all that? Because I'm go, I go. I don't know. Yeah. When I go, yeah, I go. Yeah, yeah. You don't need all when that. When I go, no. I go. Yeah. He doesn't know anything in moderation. Yeah, no, nah, I'm yeah, going, true. Maul. I'm going, Maul. Fake. Do you guys do you guys know that Parks did Savon's podcast, him and his lovely fiance? I found did. out uh, found out when today. I walked in today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They needed yeah. to know. I read a I read a <laughs> caption from Savon that said uh uh Parks and his lovely fiance helped him with so much self-evaluation. Yeah. Interesting. Ooh. It was a learning moment. Yeah. Okay, can we get can we get a synopsis of what yeah. happened in there? Yeah, what you was giving. Oh, a lot of love. Sounds like an outer body experience from yeah. Savon. Yeah, he was out of his body. I mean, Parks wasn't in a toxic environment, so he mm. was able to kind of, you know, be, This This be is not a toxic self. environment. It's a little toxic, but no, I cool. think it is. Yeah. So with Ram, how this is the most no 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 I'm not letting that ride. This is the most understanding environment. I'm not letting that ride. And this is Parks' home. Right. (laughs) Well, on a larger scale, this is home. This is home. (laughs) No, I love it. This is where he resides. I love it. Get toxic with you guys. Yo, (laughs) let's be clear. Yo, tell me. Yo, tell me how. No, tell me how this is a toxic podcast because I've been reading a lot of tweets in 2020 from women that say, "Yo." I only listen to the Joe Budden podcast because all of them are stupid, uh, ignorant, and they're toxic, and it lets me into the male train of thought to see how stupid men are. Mm -hmm. And every time I read that, I get a little offended. I think you have said on the podcast, toxic back for... At least f- this is all this Bite. is also Toxic. sarcastic. Thank you, Rory. Thank you. Yeah, but saying thank, that thank we're this is a very and understanding. And podcast. You're right. You're right. You're right. For women to say that we're dumm and we don't know anything, you're that's right. toxic. So. You're right. What you, is toxic? I don't know. You. That's just a word. That women. People, <laughs> that's just a word that people just ran with and was just like, we're gonna start using this word now. You're toxic. Yeah. Women are toxic more. I think Men are not toxic. I don't think that this podcast is toxic. I don't think I'm toxic. I think I'm rather protective. I would love to come in here and tell y'all all the arguments that I have with women. I think you guys would be on my side. <laughs> oh, I'm on your side. <laughs> because I even go into the arguments with women trying to be on their side because that's how I was raised. Right. Then they toxic it out. And you have okay. no choice but to protect yourself. That's true. So that's the definition of toxic. I don't think we're the dumping of... We're not poisonous. Savon, why is this podcast toxic? Huh? That's what we need to know. Well, you know, I think the difference is is they have a female host yes. as well. So a very strong one at that. I t- oh, see now. Th- there you go. I think y'all are toxic. We are because yes. female host. My podcast. For yeah, a woman. I think that you guys sexualize and objectify your female host. Mm. I don't. I don't think we. Do mm. that. I think you do. <laughs> yeah. I think we allow her to. I think you do though. Show her just, passion. Just because you. Wore I a, think you do. Just because you wore a hoodie that matches Maul's nails doesn't mean you get that shit off. <laughs> We match her passion. That is a good point. You yeah. Fucking creep. But no, nah, I think it's like, it's a necessary evil. Like, and not evil, but it's, it's mm, necessary. That's you toxic. You gotta feed the ego system. And I think the... The feed, ego feeding system. Feeding your ego can be toxic. Feeding the ego echo, system. Echo, whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean. Yeah. But um, I think it's necessary. Because you guys invite women in a space where they don't normally Why are we get. toxic, Savon? I just told you. Because you invite women into a space that they don't normally hear in a very misogynistic way. At points. Wait, hold on. Time. Inviting inviting a woman into a that uh, sounds courteous an understanding space <laughs> mm-hmm. is toxic. That sounds mad polite uh, of us. Some of the topics. That sounds friendly. Some of the topics. Name no, one. No, just because you dislike something doesn't make it toxic. I don't mm. dislike it. I, I'm a part of it. What you mean? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm answering your question see, and look, you calling us. See, look, the definition of toxic is poisonous, and I don't yeah. think the people that use the word toxic are aware of that. That's a good point. What is poisonous about this podcast or my train of thought? Well, you know, the culture takes words and then... All of the women that publicly claim I'm toxic want me back privately. <laughs> and well, women like oh, you talk like toxic. Like like toxic. Like, now you, you pardon. Now no, I'm saying yeah. that no, enough of this. It's nothing wrong with it. It's just it a is something wrong being toxic. No, it's not. I it, don't think so. that's toxic. No, the real. The real definition of a, a toxic, toxic person is yes, bad. That's a bad shit. Bad. Yeah. But the toxic we don't subscribe to that. Is here is not a bad toxic. We're not spewing poisonous. Hate, spewing poison. <laughs> like what the fuck <laughs> are women so man? Let me. I shut don't think up. we spew poison. No, I don't think we, we don't at all. But there could be a double. We try to, to we, a word. We, we try to come to a greater understanding. Yes, I agree with. If that. anything, we try yes. to open up the dialogue. Right. I think we're looking for a truce. Actually. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. No, I'm in the gunshots on that. Hold <laughs> yeah. up, man. Trying to find a middle ground. Yeah, we just how we can all coexist yeah, as understanding as, as both genders and many more. Right. Yeah. right.
We had fun on the podcast. It was good, man. Yeah, we did. It was good. I'm to glad you guys Rem. did. I, I'm going to listen to it uh, after I leave here. Yeah. Thank you. You should. Yeah, I learned in. a lot about uh, Rem and, and Parks. I didn't know that she was so like in tune with music. I don't know if y'all know that either, but she's a music nerd, just like Parks. Yeah. And I it's discovered true. that. That's why they work. It's I true. didn't know that, though. So, personally. You've um, never talked to her? No. You just sit, ne- <laughs> just sit next to her twice a week. Some yeah. of us have spoken so to her. you knew she was in the Bon Jovi? Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah. Paul, you to, knew that? I've been, I think I've sung, I've, I've sung with them at white bars. bars. I've been to bars and strip clubs with Parks' fiance. Got it. Yeah. I, I've never done that. And I don't think the people who listen to any podcast knows that, generally. So, yeah. No, they don't. They don't know about. nothing about Rem. Yeah. Something so about your different. voice that's not compelling enough for me. Okay. Uh, yeah, stop talking. It's, it's, <laughs> stop. <laughs> no, I'm not compelled by your tone. No, 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 Warrior. Yo, Savon has great content, but he just says it whack. Nah. <laughs> they were good. Don't, don't do that to my nigga, guy, man. Fix, fix his voice up then. Nah. Fix his voice. Oh, it's his voice. Nah. He fixed his voice up. Oh, nah, don't do nah, that. Don't do that. Voice. Fuck that. Niggas hated Joe Budden the rapper for years because of his voice. Nah. <laughs> I don't think that's why people didn't like Joe Budden the rapper. That's one of the reasons. Well, your oh, voice was, was EQ'd poorly for many years. <laughs> Thanks, Parks. I'm just telling you that it didn't help. It didn't help your. Uh, you have a good voice, actually. I think you think so. Yeah, like a rap voice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you have a rap voice. I thought my absolutely. I thought my my minor lisp hindered me from a few rhyme patterns. Uh that may be true. You did have a weird like H. It was a, on a weird yeah. word too. It wasn't like a regular lisp. Yeah, that's where Jehovah got H to the Izzo from. Me. <laughs> you said it. You said it wrong in the stew. <laughs> so yo, that's a hook. That's a hook. You gotta take that one. Yeah. <laughs> Give me that hook, fool. It's a full-time jack move. Mm. <laughs> I'm shutting up. I bet. Now, Joe live, your voice would fucked up because you always cuff the mic weird, and that makes it sound crazy. What else do you think about me? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a nice guy. King just sharing mad shit on. Well, I mean, you're talking about your voice. <laughs> He's just so, coming yeah. clean. Yeah. yeah. He's just dumping it out, huh? Yeah. Why else a woman toxic? Uh, I was listening to, which I like that new Janae song. But I wanted to bring that up during Way before during Savon's argument. Before, I do. before we go any further, I really love that new Janae song. I do too. I love it a lot. It still sounds like every other song that she's ever made. Don't but, do that. But it's great. It's got, a, it's got a bop to it. It's a little more high energy than yeah. uh, she typically gives us. Because she said pussy. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Women that, that, that dick made her proud. <laughs> Sean is over there going to work. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I took from it. Sean is going to work, man. <laughs> no, uh... Of course, all you know the women, the the in tune women love Janae. But did you read these lyrics? I have not read them. I would like to hear you read. She the lyrics, said actually, I think. and sing them. <laughs> Please. I don't well, have you I don't have your us. H lisp. I can't get it off. <laughs> uh, fuck all your free time. You don't need no me time. That's you and me time. Mm. Savon, that is toxic. That's very. This toxic. podcast that is, toxic. is not toxic. I'm, I'm with Rory on that. We're one. not allowed to have space. No, 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 fuck Warrior, any no. of your free time. Fuck, yeah. No, fuck all of your free time, <laughs> yeah. which is worse than any of it. Right. Fuck you don't all. need, imagine telling a woman that she can't have any me time. It's fucked up. Girls Everybody really do needs take some all me, your, time. All your me time. They bust in the bathroom while you're taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> then you get that girl that wants to prove to you she can sneak up behind you without you knowing. Oh, man. <laughs> Like why you brushing you your public. teeth? Yeah, why you doing some shit? Like, fam, go away. Like, ah, I scared you. No, you annoyed me. Aha, what you was doing? I'm out of my business, bitch. Have you ever have you ever dated the uh the girl that when she has a day off, she thinks that that means the world has a day off? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. 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 And that means that all right, well I happen to have Wednesday off. So that means you have Wednesday off. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Why the fuck are you working on a Wednesday? Because it's Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Well, I'm off. Nah. All right, go be off. Or the girl that just in, invites herself to all of the like only guy things. Yeah, yeah what you about to do? I'm going to go ahead to the barbershop. Oh, you want, want me to come? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I will give Rem credit on that. She's like, oh, is this like a guy's night thing? And she'll just like, let me go off and smoke cigarettes with Brian. You ever, it's cool. You ever had a girl where you bring up to this guy's night? That's, that's the guy night? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you have, nah, I'm with you. <laughs> you have a girl that you bring up to this guy's night and that starts to fight between y'all? Mm. And oh, now yeah. the fight takes over guy's night? Yeah. That's you ever bring your move. girl with you to the uh, barbershop and all the clippers just turn off at the same time? <laughs> no. I don't think I brought a girl to the barbershop Never ever. Have. I have. Well, you seem like you would do that. For sure. She sat on your lap the whole time. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> you were making out. You guys live streamed. 
<laughs> but you got to shape up, and she was she was shaping up the other side. He wonder why, he wonder why his baldy isn't clean all the way. <laughs> you have a female sitting no, on your lap, n- sir. N- n- no, 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 Hardy, har, har, guys. <laughs> I also learned something on the uh, Need to Know podcast is that uh, a promise ring is a thing that exists. What's a promise ring? Uh, <laughs> apparently. It's what you give the girl in fifth grade that you like. Okay. <laughs> oh, like a ring pop. But when you're also in fifth grade, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> apparently adults do it too. I never With other this. adults. Correct. Okay. Man, ain't no adult giving nobody. I thought the promise. engagement ring was the promise ring. Yeah, like I promise I'm going to marry you <laughs> well, in a no, couple years. Like well, why they don't promise back then? <laughs> I'm still I, trying I came, to figure that out. I, I, listen, I came on here a year ago and asked why. Like, I gave the ring. I didn't get anything. I might I waver some of my standards if I got a ring, right? Or a nice watch, or you know, what I mean? some anything, something, car. <laughs> yeah, I do be hating on uh, Safari. Uh, 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 thank you, Safari and Erica. They <laughs> give, they give each other gifts every other day. I'm like, man, my shit was different. <laughs> <laughs> so, but they're the same. I get, I get that. I get why that works. Me too. Tell me more about promise rings. I don't know. I'm trying to learn about promise rings. Adults do this? Apparently. Apparently. Steph had a promise ring. Yeah. Shout out to Steph. Shout out to Steph. I'm done with Savon's podcast now. No, um, fair enough. Promise ring means what is an adult? Tell me. That's what, what, I'm what are we to promising each other? I guess we're promising. It's right here on the screen. Oh, read it off, Mo. A promise ring is a sign of commitment between two people who won't commit. Mm hmm. <laughs> I no, no, part. one is bullshitting. Often. To, to buy themselves some more time. And once you say often, that means that there are some times where this doesn't happen. <laughs> right. It is the first token of a serious relationship, ooh, that is just developing. But exchanging promise rings can equally be a symbol of a joint commitment, which is not related to love. A promise ring can mean many things. I promise to always love you, girl. <laughs> turn that up, turn that up, turn that up. <laughs> All right, turn, that, turn that off, turn that off, turn that off. You want to know another reason why women are toxic? Check this out, girl. <laughs> oh. I know you know about all the bitches I got. Mm. And I know we've been dating for the last 27 years. Mm. I promise you that one day when I get my act together, you're going to be happy. Mm. And since I know you're ready to leave and fuck with dudes, mm-hmm. take this ring. Mm. It's not an engagement ring. I would never get engaged to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you have to allow men to grow. Mm, that's what the promise ring is? <laughs> it's the allowance? You have to allow men, <laughs> men to, to grow. <laughs> Yo, men are so full of shit, too. <laughs> nah, man, who is getting the promise rings <laughs> off, man? I stand by you have to allow a man time no, to grow. No, you, you do, but it's a hilarious excuse when you use it. Yeah, but you like, can't... When you run out of growing tokens... Yeah. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I, used, nah, nah, <laughs> I view that totally different. It's not you ran out of growing tokens. It's self-awareness and... I'm being facetious, and, and, Joe. You're taking it seriously. And you know you're not growing yet. <laughs> <laughs> you can't... You're yeah, at what point, though? At yeah. what age, though, is it like you you can, you have to stop using that, though? Nah, you could gotta get it off. Okay. Because if I'm... Yo, and that's my thing, too. That's my new line. I will no longer let women dominate the line. Now, I'm working on me, too. Mm. I'm working on me. That means it's not about you. Yeah. No. Mm. That's it. You can use that line forever. Yeah. Because you can't never tell somebody when they're done working on themselves. <laughs> That's true. You don't yeah. know that. You could tell somebody that. that when, when, when is the work going to be visible? <laughs> <laughs> like, you've been working for the last... <laughs> you've been working for a minute when now. Can we see the work you've been putting Yo, through? I followed you for nine years. I ain't seen shit different. <laughs> It's a slow process for self promise ring. So does a promise ring have to ha- be like a diamond? Does it have to be? That's I don't know. That's why uh, I like. Yeah. That's why I like Instagram because you get to see like, like the whack bitches try to level up with the promise ring. No, did you? No, they try, sell. You they try to see them do, do better surgery. for themselves. Oh. They become fake like realtors <laughs> or tax preparers. Yeah, one of those jobs. Still level up. Tax preparers. Yeah, I wish somebody would try to hand me a promise ring. <laughs> you wouldn't take it. No. Why? What if it was iced out? I'm not taking your promise. I don't want to be. <laughs> That's, I promise one day I will promise to marry you. No. It's crazy. It's not for Ch- men, though. Chicks would fuck the married dude with a real wedding ring and laugh at the promised dude guy and call him gay. Wait, women don't <laughs> give men promise rings? No. It's a one way street it's again? A yeah. <laughs> 
Again. <laughs> we don't get shit, man. How many, what, how many one way <laughs> one way shoots on this block? We, That's get, what I <laughs> we get pussy. That's the payment. That's the that's the promise. They swear that's Christmas, it. birthdays, engagements. Valentine's Day. <sighs> yeah, they never mind. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> they give us pussy. Come on, man. Where where we at? I'm still trying to figure out this promise ring shit. Is this real? It's, it's real. a real thing. It's real, Maul. Yeah. I have never heard of this. Well, not since I, I was a kid. You ready? You ready to get in the game now? Prom- <laughs> yeah, if niggas is getting a promise ring off. <laughs> Son, I got wild promises, my nigga. Y'all, y'all don't even know how many promises I got it loaded up. <laughs> what? Loaded up. A promise <laughs> ring? You're a creep. Man, what size you wear? Uh, let's see what else is good. <laughs> hey, oh size? shit! Wait before before we leave this. Rory said something that uh, damn, I don't know what Rory said, but it made me think about uh. SZA and all the pictures that she's been posting lately. She's been giving us sexy SZA. She looks great. Yeah, she does look good. Yeah, she, I'm kind of with sexy SZA, man. No, yeah. no, no. I fuck with sexy SZA. <laughs> yeah. I love what she's doing out there. But once I got to thinking about the music that sexy SZA might drop, these chicks will be mad if SZA drop and she's just sexy now. Because she was sexy before. Be clear. Yeah, but the music was, oh, he cheated. My self esteem is low. Yeah, right. I'm insecure. Why won't you love me? I'm gonna well, stick around and some, wait for some, you. Some men prey on that. <laughs> Damn, man, feels like a personal attack, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean you particularly. <laughs> hey, if SZA come out and drop some sexy shit and get off all of that, my self esteem is low bullshit. Nah, that self esteem. And, and she starts throwing it back on record. It's gonna be a lot of you chicks that don't the low self esteem chicks that have nowhere to go to get your fulfillment because all of the women lyrics are sexy. That's a good point. And Janae just Adele gave you pussy fairy. Come out and, you know, shoot some bell. She just got fuck. divorced, I think. Hell yeah. Or broke up, something. Anyways. <laughs> Maul, you giving SZA a promise ring? Yeah, I got like four promises. <laughs> this is a look I right there, man. Promise I'm going to like all your pictures. Uh, everyone. As soon as they drop. Here, wear this ring. <laughs> wear this ring. After I like every photo. Put this on. Some promise likes. Look at this thighs. dies. All right, this is weird, guys. No. <laughs> <laughs> this happens a lot, by the way. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> It'd be different when it's scissor, though. Your thighs are one of those things that if you get it right, I'll excuse like your deformities. <laughs> That's sick. Nice I'll thighs. Give, nice I'll give you a thigh ring for lie. your promise. Yeah. That scissor right there? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, you're not following. But wait, system. I'm not gonna be the only one sharing sharing here. Wait, what 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 oh well y'all are married. And I'll, more and more as a girl. Never mind. No, shoot. Yo, shoot. What? Yeah, what's up? Forget, forget it. Don't worry about it. Let's move on. Um Zion was the first <laughs> player ever. Fuck Zion. Yo, scream man, what you doing? Pull that yeah. back up. <laughs> Uh, y'all want to talk about uh, Juice World's toxicology that was released saying that he overdosed on Oxycontin? Oh, and, yeah, we want to do that. Codeine. Oxycodone, codeine. Yeah. Oxy and codeine. Both. Oh. Uh, we, we knew that. Yeah, but I mean, I it's, say, it's, it's, it's confirmed official. now. It's confirmed now. Uh, his family is saying that they will still continue to uh, plans to release everything that he had in the works from music to film to okay, good. everything. Yeah, rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace, Juice World. Do you see yeah. the uh, stats, the Eminem stats that uh, validates Moles? He had too many words. He had the Guinness record of words. Man, I see, but, but you know, people they 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 started calling me a hater and yeah. all of these things. I'm just like, I just felt like it was too many words in the bars. That's all. But he was shooting for the I, Guinness I, I World love, record. I love there. Eminem. He's a legend. Like I respect, I respect his music. But it's just like I felt like it was too many words. They killed me for that. Yeah. Well, did you see Ebro's response? <laughs> yes, we saw Ebro's response. React. Did you know that Eminem treats rap how black folks have had to treat life, be five times better, work five times harder than everyone, and still not necessarily get respect, according to Ebro? He goes platinum first day. Eminem gets... <laughs> He gets a lot of. He respect. sneezes and goes platinum. Yes, Eminem he gets. Does it, I don't. I don't know what the fuck Ebro is talking about, but he's trolling. You gotta be trolling, right? Even if he is trolling, Ebro, you gotta trolls be, on Twitter every day. Oh, to, we gotta cancel trolling too. Yeah, let's cancel. Let's work on that. Certain shit. Ebro, per, that movie. Ebro purposely people, lies yeah, for people, reactions yeah, people, on Twitter. Then, How about that? Yeah. You did. No, I'm saying let's work on canceling the actual, you know, act of doing it. I'm with you. 
Yeah. Ebro I'm might Ebro might believe this. I don't think Ebro believes this. I really don't. Can you be woke and believe this? Because yeah. to tweet this totally ignores white privilege, right? Yeah. Absolutely. And white privilege is a big thing in the music business. Well, which, which Eminem has admitted and addressed plenty of times that, hey, guys, I'm going quadruple platinum because I'm white. Thanks, Rory, because yeah. anytime I say something about him, it's like news for the next two weeks. Oh, well, <laughs> I wish yes. that would stop. Eminem has admitted this on plenty of records. He has a whole record called White America addressing this entire thing. Facts. And why you know his whole discog? <laughs> his discog. <laughs> He knows all the words to that. Yeah, uh, yeah, would you like me to recite God some bars damn. from White America? You know all that? Do you of course. Want, do you want to read? All 299 words in 30 you, seconds on Godzilla. Want, do you want to read the Eminem press release on why he decided to murder you guys on beats? <laughs> <laughs> Who better to hear it from than Rory? <laughs> well, it's hard to read through the blood. Rory, it's been hard to read on this podcast for you for <laughs> four years. I'm not a good reader. <laughs> Public right, school system. But work on it. Gentle listeners. Huh? That's how it starts. Oh. Is he referring to my hands? Yeah. <laughs> he, ain't, he ain't talking to me. <laughs> ain't nothing about my listening, gentle. In today's wonderful world, murder has become so common that we are a society obsessed and fascinated by it. I thought, why not make a sport of it and murder over beats? Mm. So before you jump the gun, Maul... Please allow me to explain. Nah, this Maul, album. Maul already jumped the gun. <laughs> this album was not made for the squeamish. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. This is instincts. That's his only gun, instinct. Yeah. Is to jump the gun. Yeah. <laughs> At Maul's wedding, he's not going to jump a broom. He's going to jump a gun. <laughs> Maul's wedding is funny in itself. <laughs> If you are easily offended or unnerved, then this isn't the album for you. At the you. screams of bloody murder, <laughs> the then screams. this may not be the collection for you, Joe and Maul. Certain <laughs> I selections, love this I do too. Certain selections have been designed to shock, uh, which may cause positive action. Unfortunately, darkness has truly fallen upon us. <gasps> yes. So you see, murder in this instance isn't always literal nor pleasant. These bars are only meant. For the sharpest knives in the drawer. Yo, he's killing Maul. Mm. For the victims of this album, life. Maul being a victim, you may rest peacefully. For the rest of you, please listen more closely next time. Good night. My deepest sympathies, Marshall Mathers. That's a good read, Roy. I gotta give you some credit there. Yeah, Thanks, you, man. You getting better with reading, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have a lot of, lot of uh, Sudafed, Dayquil, you been Mucinex the in my system. So it's, I actually couldn't even read that. This your flu game? No, it's not my flu game. I am sweating though. <laughs> Have you been to the library putting up shots? Never know. Walking in the library, seeing a nigga shooting is crazy. My mom no, volunteers to the library. Allowed. Yo, you getting better at that reading shit is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he doing this? I don't know. All right, let's to address this, remember when he put out a whole album to address all the haters of the last album? This That's is true. his. This, this is, is Kamikaze yeah. too This is Kamikaze yeah. Why yeah. does Eminem feel like Everybody has to love Every song he puts out Every artist feels like that That's true You should not feel like that Every artist feels like that Like that is insane To feel like that Every artist is insane That's all true Like wh We're not gonna love everything That's just Not how humans are designed You're not gonna No love this everything. this I think Is more addressing The people that found His content offensive As far as the intro Being a woman Being stabbed to death Screaming Oh uh, no do you guys love Dave East the box freestyle? Didn't get a chance. I didn't hear Missed yet. that one. How was it? I didn't hear. It. No. Is it out? <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> I hear neither, King. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I'm tired of that. I really didn't hear. I'd be the only one up here. Well, at bar three and four. Yeah. No, no. I mean, I, if you I heard didn't. it. Share. No, no, no. I didn't. Share so I can't. Okay. Can't share. Share my world. Is it an official remix or is it like just a? It was a, a ten second clip. I don't think it came out. Oh. yeah, he wasn't giving the streets all the heat. Psst, teasing the heat. Is this an official remix or is this? That's my question. Is him? Is he just hopping Oof. on? I hate y'all. Hopping on the remix. Comes up firing. Here's the throw to the plate, and he is safe at the plate. We will have a challenge. I'm dying to hear that meme though. Like that, that meme just like is funny. 
What mean? This. Like the this end is of a this, video, more. Yeah, but at the end, it's somebody tweeted this. They posted the video, and then you'll see. Look, I can, right. but we can't hear it. <laughs> it just looks funny, though. Y'all playing? Look, look, look. look. See? All right, I'm not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, Bieber is interviewing with Zane Lowe. Pass. <laughs> You're not fucking with it? Yeah, no. Man. Rory's got beef with Zane. I can't listen to that shit. At least Parks rides. Yeah, man. Rory got beef with fucking Zane, Drake. I don't MP, have the security at that R&B party. <laughs> I can't keep up with all Rory's beef. I don't have beef, man. The Zane one may be true, but I don't have beef with Drake. I saw you a little shooketh when we went to Apple. Yeah. <laughs> Shook if yeah. He had it on him Zane oh, <laughs> Zane definitely had it on him Zane had it on definitely. him Definitely Rory's coming Strap up And if you got smoke with Zane You technically got it with Ebro too Damn Damn Which brings Maul into it So Damn. now that's y'all right. two Versus Zane and Ebro Wait Maul's beef with Ebro And Charlamagne Oh uh, see I don't have beef with anybody <laughs> I don't know why y'all saying that. Okay. Her Charlemagne had some things to say about me this morning. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This morning. Mm-hmm. What about you got, what? That you got hips again? <laughs> no. You know, it, uh, he had somebody call in. One of his like, I think it's somebody that calls in. Some guy named Trav. Okay. Just Man. like a reoccurring caller, I guess. He just they calls had, in to hate on you. Yeah, he had something to say. He said, "I can't. I, I shouldn't be able to say pause because I get." Art put on my nails. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is this on the Breakfast Club or is this yeah. on one of his other media yeah, my, outlets? My DMs was going like everybody was DMing me like, oh, they talking shit. I was like, who are y'all talking about? I don't never know when people are talking. Speaking of other media outlets, uh, cereal is love a, cereal is podcast a, is now oh, available. Let's talk about the breakfast it's now available for acquisition. The podcast. Yes, the first season was good. Serial serial productions. They're uh, they're two for three. Uh, I think one for three. But I like the the Bo Iraq thing. It was the, cool. The one where they just sat in the Cleveland court and no, no, that's the one I don't like. Traffic tickets. It, it, it it's matter. the one I don't like. It, it, fellas, they're it wouldn't matter. They're arguably <laughs> largely responsible for starting the whole. I'm with you. True, sure. true crime. I but think the first season was amazing. Podcast wave. So I mean, I don't, I don't care what was amazing or what wasn't. When you start some shit and then you make yourself available for acquisition, I'm anxious to see what you get. Sure, absolutely. Uh, well, we're lovers of podcasting, so we were talking about the content and the love of the game, <laughs> right, not right. not the corporate bullshit you're talking about. Mm. 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 Go on the Grammy committee, mm. <laughs> Joe Dugan. <laughs> <laughs> Why the, why, you look like Joe Dugan. Why, the, why is that so funny to y'all? <laughs> Deborah's hilarious and Dugan is hilarious. Did you guys see Stephen A. Smith boxing? I, I did. I did catch it. I missed it, unfortunately. That's all I got. Yeah, hands. No, I, it's right on your television. Now. No, but I mean, he's fifty years old. And who was he punching that's that low to the ground? <laughs> <laughs> he's practicing for toddlers. <laughs> <laughs> Super toddlers. <laughs> What? He getting right. Nah, when I saw this, I was mad. Max is like a real boxing guy. That's how he came up. Right. Like, how he let this slide and commentates on boxing was just a waste of that morning to me. Yeah. He didn't bring it up? No, not uh, that I saw. they bullshit. I tuned they had to in. talk about the Cowboys again. <laughs> yeah, they had to talk about <laughs> Prescott and where what's going on <laughs> with Jerry Jones. Right. Yeah, and do you think that uh, Jimmy G can keep up in a shootout with Mahomes? <laughs> We're going to hear that for the next two weeks. Yeah. Yo, Miami Miami for Super Bowl is going to be nasty. Like, when I thought about trying to get out there for a second. For Super Bowl? No, I wouldn't go to Super Bowl or any of the parties for Super no, Bowl. No, being out there for Super Bowl weekend. I thought about it. No, you're fucking crazy. No, no, I quickly unthought about it. <laughs> I don't want to go anywhere. No, I, I think about it. Places. Miami's kind of your town. Go, I don't want to go to where Super Bowl is, though. You're kind of a take me back Miami dude. Now I think about it. You would say, "Hello." You go to Miami a lot, <laughs> and I like Miami. I'm not hating. But if you go, but with, you really like it. But if you go with me to Miami, you you'll realize it's it's not the Miami experience. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I go to Miami and sit in the room. <laughs> okay. I I enjoy the view of the beach without go, visiting the beach. 
Uh, well, I mean, look at my skin complexion. I, that I, sounds like an amazing time to me. I, yeah. I, I watch TV. I get a gyro. I eat dinner, and I'm back to the room. It's not. It's not much. It's you not. You definitely much. do fly out for the gyro. Yeah, which is crazy because we record next to the greatest gyros on earth. That's true. Which is but where I you did surprise me when we when we potted in Miami. I had one of those gyros. They were really good. It's a good gyro. It was, yeah. but I could still get that gyro where we are. Right where now. do you get that gyro from here? Right on the corner. Yeah. Up the corner, the pizza spot? No, no, no. They have uh, a good, no, they have a good they one. That's not a pizza one. spot. It's a Greek spot that happens to sell pizza. Correct. The Greek pizza spot? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> the best gyros is in my old, is um, on Fordham. Gyro King. Yeah. Hands down. That's like a landmark in the Bronx. Okay. I still have a story. I, I can't in believe they're still there. There's a spot in Chicago that has really good gyros, too. I don't think I think, I think we went there after the show. care time. about this. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, we have a guest. That's that's that Chicago gyro was really good. It was really good. If you ever visit New York, you want a good gyro, they'll know where to go now. Here's the thing: Greek people travel all over the world, yeah. so you can find good Greek food. Greek food almost really everywhere. <laughs> now y'all got me one a gyro. <laughs> that, that might be lunch. Um, what else is happening? I don't think anything else is happening. Yeah, not really. No. Mo, you coming to LA with me? What's up? I was, but then I changed my mind. No, oh, okay. Yeah, you got another brunch to get to? You know me, eggs, eggs, and uh, mimosas. <laughs> That's, 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 that just says you all day. Runny eggs and muscles. Oh, my God. That Love runny eggs. Disgusting. Rory can't wait to get to that brunch. <laughs> you know, Rock Nation. You just said you wanted to go to Miami for Super Bowl. Yeah, that's nasty. That's, that's, that's way nastier. Yeah, he's a football fan. He said, he, I don't want to go to anything football related. I know. Football. And I said, I would sit in my room. Okay. I would who said, to, who I said would, I'm not I, sitting in my room? I would go down. You're not sitting in your room. You're a little hootie, <laughs> it's a big lie. You're a little hootie patootie ass. It's a narrative you created. <laughs> <laughs> your little hootie patootie <laughs> ass is telling a man he's a hootie patootie. Just it's Rory going to sit in his room in nah, LA. I would not hope not. Just, come on. You can't sit yeah. in your room in LA. Look, look. Actually, you can. No, not, here's no, no. Here's not the Grammy thing. weekend, though. It's your fault, too, because you put me on to that specific hotel that makes sitting in your room great because everything's right there that you would need. So yeah, you put me on to the sitting in your hotel game. <laughs> me? Yeah. I'll take it. That hotel is in the perfect area. Everything's right there. You only have to go two blocks to go to anything you want to go to. I'll take it. Yeah. So yes, I will be sitting in my room. Not Grammy weekend, though. You can't sit in your room. Uh, uh, hobnob. The two, the two events I want to go to are literally two blocks from the hotel I'm staying in. The two events. I'm going out there for, you know, get what some work, get some, get some, some work done. He's not working. Not networking. Lincoln. Oh, he's working on a net. Yeah. Well, yeah. that is the, re- that working is on the, the link. weekend to work on your net, though. Yeah. I ain't mad at that. No, nah, I, got, I got some work to do. Uh, I don't want to touch this Nick uh, Nick Cannon or Orlando Brown stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't either. I don't, I don't care about Orlando it. Orlando Brown needs help. Nasty. I don't Orlando for Orlando him. Orlando Brown needs help. Yeah. Pray People for him. need to help him. And that's that. I thought Nick was really mature in responding. Because how else do you respond to that? By telling niggas suck your dick, meet up. What's your address right now? Nah, I'll be breaks yeah. off you. Well, according to him, say, say that again. Not, I put my. Now we know somebody's not all the way there. You can't respond like that. I, see I was shocked he he even re- replied to that shit. I see mad times that people respond to the person they know is not all the way there with violence. <laughs> well, Orlando Brown, we know is not. Oh, anytime we talk about Orlando Brown, it's because he's doing something crazy. Yeah. All right, we have a guest sitting in the kitchen, but our clothes are going to change if you're watching this video. <laughs> about to get flea? <laughs> is Safari outside? He might be. This is funny. We we have a guest. Our clothes are about to change, and the guest is not here right now. <laughs> Even though he is. This is how the magic in happens. A, in a past yeah. life, he was here. Yeah. It's called production. <laughs> It's called. That's <laughs> exactly what it's called. Yeah. Parks. Yo, the love and hip hop people every week gotta stop fucking uh, complaining about the editing. <laughs> like it's production, you guys. Right. What you thought they were gonna they, do? Just let it ride. Raw. Have every show you see on TV, it's edited. Yeah. The end. Yeah. Um, y'all want to talk about uh Lena Lena Waith and a black woman cheating? Have at it, guy. I'll be over here. <laughs> <laughs> Lena Waith is cheating. Uh, allegedly, more. No, Lena wouldn't do that. That's what no. they say. No. Lena Waith, who was recently married to well, maybe she didn't get a promise ring. There you go. No promises. Parks. They were what married. is a relationship they without trust? Their wedding. You still need yeah, a promise. Yeah, but ring. I gotta promise you that I'm a 
uh, keep it thorough in the, in the, yeah. in the marriage. Like, you right. could give me a wedding ring. That's cool, but there's no promises yeah, there. I didn't make a promise. Oh, okay. I see what yeah. you're saying. My bad. Lena Waif got married two months ago to her longtime significant other of mad years, mm-hmm. only to allegedly be broken up and separated today amidst uh, allegations of cheating and infidelity. Yeah, whenever you put a mist and allegations right next to each other, that yeah. means something has happened. Man. Okay, so we have a very, very, very special guest here, you guys. It's the one thing I never quite worked on throughout this my my media ascension. Is uh, you in- guys intru- how, to, how to introduce a guest? Yes, yes. It's overrated. Verb is here. It that whole intro shit is kind of overrated. Yeah, yeah. It's overrated. Yeah, I never really got into hyping it up that way. We have we have a very yeah come on see see it still matters to oh no Verb won his accolades my bad we have a very <laughs> special guest here yeah you've seen him on many a stages yeah mm-hmm. all across the globe and why Verb thinks he's here and why I think he's here might be two different reasons Verb is here let me hit the round of applause if you are not familiar with Verb Verb to me is uh. Battle rap legend who has kicked in the door for St. Louis. Uh, many a great St. Louis rappers have followed. He has had most of his battles on the road. Uh, I mean, I don't think you could really hate on Verb, but we have found a way to. <laughs> Who's we? Let's play me, ball. Me and Maul. Okay. I don't hate on Verb. Let's play ball. What we doing? Verb thought I hated well, Verb, him. Well, say, lost. Say hello to the people. Hello, first, everybody. Verb. Listen, hello, listen, everybody. Hello, everybody. There you we know, go. You know, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Let's let's do the normal shit first. There I'm happy we to go. be here. Right. You know, I'm grateful to be in this position. You know, this is not yeah. a battle rap podcast. Clearly, and are you sure? I never want you battle rappers to come up here and kick it. Hey, stop calling us that, bro. You battle rappers. Why you? Why we're rappers like y'all. We just happen to have to fight for our money. That's not. It, it, we are no, rappers. What, why can't I think not? y'all might no, fight less for your money than no, the, no, than the regular not. rappers? No, listen, hold you're on. Not, me, no, you're not. You're not so, rappers like us. How come we not? We, well, not we, because okay. it's not me anymore. All right, because you're off the field. Exactly. All right, cool. But we survive mm-hmm. off of song making. Okay. Y'all. Survive off of killing, and those yeah. are two different games entirely. So when I say you battle rappers, it's not to box y'all because some of you do make good music, but that is not how y'all are relying on your way of living. I'm real fly with Surf. Surf, I think, makes okay. some of the best music in battle rap. Okay, he get his yearly money to live. Off battling. <laughs> right. And so it's not the same game. It's not to offend y'all. No, no, no. But it's two different games. Well, well, see, it's only because our game, we dogs, we put it on the line every night. Some shit y'all don't do. Y'all have to kill and make music to survive, right? No. Yes, y'all do. It's not true, Ver. How come it's not? There are plenty of musicians that are not killing in their songs. Could you tour actually, if you wanted to? Actually, there's mad unification now Okay. in it. It's mad. It, it 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 thrives off of fake relationships. Actually, it thrives off of fake relationships. <laughs> Fair. Do you, you want you want to protect relationships in your audience building? Mm-hmm. Y'all, y'all just got a book. Hey, listen, I'm gonna give them three or four a year at this at this number. I'm gonna make six figures and I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be able to feed my family. But to get to and that it, level to be able to do that takes some time and a tremendous amount of time. So y'all think our world ain't fake? Oh, no, y'all I'm, think I'm, I'm oh, sure it is. Y'all sure think we, we know that. Y'all think that we don't got to deal with fake shit? Oh no 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 no. No, of we course. Know that. Oh, okay, all right. No no no, one hundred percent. But yeah. it's it's just different. It's just different shit. It's just different games. Uh, the same art form, but different games. I agree with that. Now you now you mm-hmm. were killing. You you attacked me and Maul recently. I didn't know you attacked Maul. I, I just thought you attacked me. I was I was, I was first though. Maul was no, the first you one not. attacked. He attacked yes, me. When? No, I didn't. No, no, it was Maul for sure. It was Maul. That was a while Def- ago. Definitely Maul. What Maul. battle was that? Stop. Let me let me let me correct y'all before you continue. Okay. I was at the K Shine Verb battle. Mm-hmm. I okay. synced at that. Yeah. I watched. And I, I, watched and I lost YouTube. money on that. 
Okay. And when I spoke about it, mm-hmm. Verb kind of killed me a little bit. And that was a little while ago. So now when are you talking about? Uh, I can't I remember you. what battle it was, but I just, I, all I said was that I didn't like him saying, woo. I didn't like that. Like, I hate that. <laughs> I like you as a, I like you as a battle rapper. Okay. I just hate that in the middle of the of the rhyme. I, I like that. Well, that's well, all, well, and that's well, all I said. And I he like said, and he well. said, "You got to stop eating meat. You a hater." Right. <laughs> right. No, actually, no. Actually, what I told you, you are a hater, no, no, and no, you do got to no, stop look, eating look, so much meat. Don't eat meat actually, what I told him is, you got to stop eating meat. Cause you're a hater And I'm gonna fuck somebody You care about That's what I said See See it was more to it than that It oh, wasn't just it No wasn't Maul just... Maul's never been hurt He okay, doesn't care Maul, about it yeah, Maul's never me, cared about anyone Me yeah, neither yeah. Sorry. Same <laughs> thing That's why I'm, we on the same shit doesn't eat me I just yes, told you in the kitchen we, It's the same you, right, know, you, know, you a vegan I'm on my well, we, we both don't give a fuck See we don't give a fuck About these chicks There you go Well you still eat poison though that's why your mind fucked How? up. You. Wait, what's poison besides me? Give me fish. all the poisons. I mean, yeah. well, just really fish is poison. Why not? Hey, this is Joe's theory. After Lux, after Lux's third round versus Calico, it forced all these battle kings to change their lives and get it together. <laughs> these, these it's niggas, not necessarily a bad these, thing, though. Oh no, 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 no. no. They, and they stopped crazy. eating. They stopped eating meat and fish. They start looking for their dads. Yeah. They start trying to get jobs. Even That's the gun think? bars had more purpose. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they stopped just giving them gun bars. <laughs> now the gun bars were there, but they no, were a little deeper. Right, so, 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 yeah, they tried to get deeper. Hey, listen. Yeah. You know what? Y'all got the wrong nigga because I'm finna flame all y'all. All silly. these gun <laughs> bar like, niggas on the card. You heard what he said. I heard him loud. All these gun bar niggas on the card. You needed Lux to load that nine, right? He did right? that. Yeah, but that he, shit didn't. Hey, nah, nah. I see, I see you with the Shit didn't bother me, though. It ain't bother me. Yes, it did. You a motherfucker? I walked through it clean. I ain't sweat. What you talking about? Verb, you so full of shit, I man. walked through that battle clean. Yo, you battle rappers will not. Okay, answer nigga, this. Nigga, if you don't knock it off. So, what, so you tell me I look damaged to you? No. I walked through that. Smooth. No problem. No, I think you put up a good showing. Well, well you got you got to understand I something. Definitely you put up a good showing. Well. Listen, yeah, don't, don't listen, get me listen. fucked up. You, yeah. you you fought. Okay, you fought. Sure. Don't I do fought. that. Listen, you said in your podcast, <clears throat> Verb and Lux can rap in the same world, but you pick Lux. Nothing wrong with that though. That's true. Mm-hmm. And it ain't shit wrong That's with true. that. No, nothing's nothing. But Lux has not dominated. Mm, only one time he's dominated on stage, bro. We do this back to back. Y'all be betting on the wrong dogs, bro. Like Lux has dominated one time. One time he's dominated. I don't know what you've seen. Tell me somebody else he dominated. I'm not fixated on the word dominated. Okay, what, what, what you saying here? Do you hold him to a high regard up here, right? Yeah. Who has he dominated? You, I'm not fixated on the word dominated. You ain't answering my and question. You were deflecting. I, I am, because you right. making the word dominated a big thing, one, and two, the, the acclaim that I give Lux is never predicated on his opponent. Okay. I give, I give Lux the acclaim... And the praise that I give him mm-hmm. because what I expect from him as an MC, mm-hmm. he gives it every showing. So now you can't take that from so him. now. So now listen. Five star. When you say dominate, mm-hmm. nobody will say that he dominated Hollow. Okay. Nobody will say that. Okay. And I a will. lot of people even have him losing that. You'll you'll say that, but I'm not he many. Hollow to not you? many people will say that he dominated Hollow. Okay. I won't say that. All right. But boy, that showing was dangerous. Uh, I don't really count that mook battle because I don't count any of the total slaughter battles. Whoa. I'm aware of the business Whoa. that went into that. I'm aware of the audience that was there. <clears throat> that wasn't battle climate. I'm not really taking it. No, nah, once you get on stage, you take whatever come. Uh, that's, what, that, that's what they say. That, that's our rule. Then see, if we doing it like this in our world, yeah, once you get on stage, that. you take whatever comes. You, you had a battle. That's, that's like, a fact. That's like, it don't matter what block you're in. Everything counts. You in, oh, it's a battle. Oh, once the coin go in there, everything counts. Oh, that's the same as Crooked Eye telling me that once you sign a contract, you got to finish it. No, it ain't. No, that's not the same thing at all. To me, it is. We're, no, he's suggesting that once you battle, you battle. It's, it don't matter where you once, at. Once the coin in the earth, who the audience it counts, is, who, who put it. it on you in a battle. Doesn't matter. Once that coin go in the earth, it counts. Whatever happened. But you're telling me from your perspective. I'm telling you, as someone who was a little more involved in the behind the scenes of the way that that was set up, uh, again, I'll revert to Hollow's first eight bars in our battle. He was accurate. It just wasn't done right. So when when you when when you when you foul in the organization, the product you put out on the field is gonna is is gonna show the same. That's why the Knicks are so trash. It just wasn't right from the top all the way down, and it appeared that way to me. So I don't, I don't look at that as, yeah, Mook cleaned Lux up. If they battle five times, I'm not certain who would who would win three. 
No, nah, that's bullshit, mm. y'all. I'm yeah, just telling you. I, I, that's I'm telling you. totally, that's, that's totally disagree. Shit. That don't even make sense. I'm, once, I'm you get the, you. once you get on the stage, it don't matter. You still, he wrote and he wrote. Who wrote better? That's all that matters. Who was better at that moment? You cannot make it a stipulation for one dude, bro. Sure. He, he, he get on stage, that's it. He played by our rules. That's the, that, see, that's the problem with this shit. People make certain rules for certain people. No, he plays by the rules we play by. It's simple. You get on stage, he still wrote his material. He still learned his material. Mook still wrote his and learned it. You got to count that. That's dead. No, Mook won. Yeah, but you got to count it. I put an asterisk there. That's all. Okay, well, see, you, nah. you, you, but see, you, oh, if you're going to do that, you got to do that for everybody. You got to do that for every single person. Verb. I don't care about every single person. That's cool. You in don't care. in yeah. battle rap. Okay. Let me be perfectly so clear. That's, yeah, you, you're speaking from a fan. This is your moment. Of course. All right, okay, there I go then. That's I'm cool. A, I'm a all fan. Right. I don't all care right. about all these battle rap niggas. There I go. Say I no can more. name 10 of them I like. I don't like a lot of them as people. <laughs> so I'm with you on that. Okay. If you're speaking from a fan and this is how you feel, that's perfectly fine. But I that's, like that's you, not the rule, though. Hitman, Lux, mm-hmm. Hollow. It's a few of these new niggas I like. I like Geechee. I like Twerk. Yeah. Of course, I like Surf. Yeah. I like Shine when he shine. Yeah. Like, I like DNA when he go crazy, crazy. Other yeah. than that, I ain't, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a, but other, JC is my guy, guy. Chiller yeah. is my guy, guy. So you got 12 guys you like? 12? I didn't get to 12. I was about 12, bro. That wasn't, that's, But that's, that's still good out of 60 people. <clears throat> yeah, you got to earn my attention. Okay. That's how I feel, but not just in battle rap, in music. Right. Yeah, I agree. In, with in that. music, you don't don't catch me with the hot single. I'm not gonna kill Alessia Yakara again, but boy, that proves my point. <laughs> don't catch <laughs> don't catch me with the hot single, and then your career goes like a different trajectory. No, okay. I need to see you have a stellar outing a few times. That's why I fuck with you so hard mm-hmm. because to establish yourself on the road, yeah, it's hard. I don't take it for granted. Okay, cool. That's a variable that I include. Appreciate that. Yeah, that's important. That's very hard to do. People don't understand. Like, when you get off in the city and you got to take... Y'all don't know what we take before we get on stage. Like, y'all don't know. Like, the dumb shit that happens backstage, you arguing with niggas, it's, 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 it's a terrible feeling, bro. Especially when you're on the road. When we land, it's war from the moment we get here till we get on stage. And then we got to deal with dumb shit backstage. And then you got to keep your mind clear to go on stage, bro. That's some bullshit. But when these niggas come out of this region and come somewhere else, they not shit, bro. That's a fact. Because they can't move, they can't be extra. You come on, you know you're on the East Coast. Niggas loud, they extra. We have to deal with that shit and go on stage. Like that's pain, that's a uh, mental drainage on us. Like, but people will never understand it. They think we just get on stage and rap. Where did you? Um, I could imagine that. Where did you sure. Lux battle in Houston? Yeah, in Houston. You know what I'm saying? It's it's but which is a fair fight. That's fair. Yeah, we wanted a fair fight. And, you know, playing this is at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So it was a fair neutral f- field is important. Yeah, yeah. that should be I more. So. A lot of y'all kings here on this side of the world are built off home games. That's why when they step outside, they soft. They can't I, I handle have a, it. I have a very different perspective on that. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're from the East Coast. You're supposed to. No, you're supposed to. No, just in the latter portion of my career, I'm a bit more business minded. Okay. Let's not say a lot of our kings here perform great here. Okay. Let's give Smack all the praise that he is due. Okay. A New York nigga built a quite a large platform. It is the platform. That that's why <laughs> some of yeah. our kings here have the advantage because a business I'm model was laid out. I'm gonna get it. Now yeah. I, I I see John John trying to do the same thing in yeah. Atlanta. Like uh-huh. there's other people trying to spread it, mm-hmm. and niggas support that. Fucking uh, APR. Am I getting it right? I don't know what uh-huh. fucking about AP. Like uh-huh. it's some niggas out there doing it, but uh-huh. I want to give Smack all the praise. You got to though. He built a business model. Check this out, though. He ain't staying in here no more. Cause I love act, it. I niggas, love it. Niggas act like I animals. Love it. And look, I told him that. I, say, I love look, it. I told him, I said, hey, look, when it affects y'all money, y'all want to move. But when we having problems, you want to stay. But when it affects the money and niggas acting crazy, that's what they do all the time. Verb, and that's where the battle rappers and the rappers are aligned. Because mm-hmm. they still, y'all still niggas. Yeah. Like, they never <laughs> care about the talent. <laughs> never. Like, no, they never care about y'all well-being. It's mm-hmm. always about the, the bottom line of the dollar. Mm-hmm. Uh, how, what do you feel about uh, Math, Math Hoffa's platform and shit what is, he's doing out shit there? Is you dope. like it? Dope. I did it last night. Extreme. I, I, I see a lot. I see a lot. I see Surf implementing some of that. I see you now yeah. getting a little bit more yeah. into that. Yeah. Uh, and that's kind of what I mean. Just a model being laid and y'all taking it and y'all owning some shit and getting what y'all are really worth rather yeah. than these bullshit battle prices. Yeah, that's actually, and you're right. See, we listen to people that have done more. You know what I'm saying? So we listen and say, okay, what are we supposed to be doing besides this? 
Because most people think, okay, cool, it'll sound good. Go pick up thirty here, thirty there, 30, make a hundred thousand dollars a year, one hundred twenty-one. You know, you can do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But when you think about what it is, no, it's not enough money. Mm-hmm. It's short term. Yeah, it's short. It's like I say to surf all the time. Surfers say, uh, "I'll get five battles and I'll make this, and that'll set me straight for the year." And then I'll say, oh, "So you only think about the year." Like sometimes the thing that's best for you for that year is not best for you for the next five. That's true. Yeah. So you you supposed sure. to teach us then? Plus, if so, how, so how how do I you try. not teach? Look, no, I try. When, to. When, when when have you sat down and say, "Hey, look, let me educate these guys on what they are." We still need the game. Okay, if you want to sell dope, you got to learn from a nigga who sell dope. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. So if you if nobody's saying here, let me show y'all, we gonna be blind forever. Verb. This is the thing about that. And somehow we've we've derailed into like a real good conversation. <laughs> the thing about that is you can't be blinded and distracted by smoke and mirrors. Mm. Uh, I recently had an exchange with Charlie Clips where I shared I would never battle Charlie Clips unless we own the platform. Mm. Unless the majority of the profit went to the two people that were putting on the show. Okay. Know what the focus was after that conversation? A Charlie Clips and Joe Budden battle. And that should not have been the focus at all. The focus should have been, how do we own a platform to where we reap the benefits? And that conversation is never had, not only in battle rap, but in regular rap. And that's why the conversation now is a lot about ownership and getting what's ours. And now people are waiting for their contracts to end so they can renegotiate their masters and, you know, leverage their way into some better situations. But different fields but we all have the same exact fight i'm trying to lead by example it's one of the reasons i get so angry when people tell me to rap Mm -hmm. rap you telling me to be a worker to my face how i and how i receive that is disrespectful (laughs) no that's bullshit too i'm telling you because i'm gonna tell you something when you tell a fan that has grown with you that this is disrespectful for you to put out music you don't know what people go through i told you i told you before the first song i heard from you that drew to me was come take a walk with me. You don't know what the fuck I was going through. For you to say, I'm going to cut this shit off right here and say, fuck them people, that's wrong for you. How, it, it's just, it is what it is. You can say, fuck them. I don't care about the money. But when people going through certain shit, certain things mean things to them. You don't ever look at it like that because you're on the side of the street. When did I, when did I ever refute that? Oh, but, but, but what I'm telling you is, like people have grown with you with a product. Yes. They, they come to you with people. like You, make, you have an a emotion-based Rap music. Oh, wait. Let me interject. I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Let me interject with the important part. Music is a mirage verb. Okay. It wasn't the music that was the audience that that was the builder. Mm. I was building trust. (laughs) Okay. Explain it. How do I explain it to you? Because what it sounds like, like you saying this is like, he said, some people, go ahead, go ahead. Some people, depending on what you want from this game. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, there's some people that just have the ability to put out a hit single whenever they feel like it. They can create them in their sleep damn near. Mm. And the audience doesn't necessarily care about the person. They don't necessarily give a fuck about anything outside of that hot single. I was never building a music audience. Mm. I was always building an audience that cared about me, which was my message in the music, okay, which is you. why I shared so much in the music. And mm-hmm. in that, I developed a trust with my audience. It's the same thing that I explain to Spotify, Netflix, Apple, mm-hmm. and any of the major conglomerates. You can't just throw money at some shit sometimes. Mm-hmm. Some of us got some equity built with our fan base, mm-hmm. like years and years and years of trust. Mm-hmm. So when I stopped rapping... Yeah, it was fucked up. Yeah, some people, yo, your, my, your music got me through some. It's a lot of that. Yeah. But it's a whole lot of people that still was on that wave of wanting to see Joju do well. And they transitioned with me. Mm. They traveled with me. Okay. And what that did was show a different type of value to some of these corporations. Mm. Oh, shit. We have watched his audience go from complex to YouTube. No, from Def Jam. To Spotify. To, to E1. Def Jam <laughs> to E1. There's there you you they, they haven't figured out a way to monetize it yet, so it's mm. our job to negotiate for it. Okay. So when you say we got to lead by example, I think I'm the living embodiment of it. I, I'm I'm agree if, with you. If that. we're not if we're not blindsided by the art of it, which okay. is rap, put out a project. Okay. The arts, we're artsy people. 
Just we, not th- we saw you go from many and, and um let me get your little your flowers while you're right here. Um you smarter than what I think for eating chicken and smoking cigarettes, but that's a whole nother thing. At the end I have of the demons. day, yeah, I have got, demons. Like you, real chicken smart. Demons. I, have, yeah. and I don't even really you fuck real with chicken smart, like that, but I have demons. <laughs> you real smart. Like you could really see what you are understanding in this situation. Just hearing you talk like this, you you could be for the people like you. Like when our robot was, he led the other robots. Like, hey, look, let me show y'all a different way. But if you turn your back on that, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like we, okay, as a culture, most of the time we lost. Most of the time we lost. Everybody learns from somebody. We can watch you and say, okay, he went through this and he brought this and he then TV and this. That shit is amazing. But now how? Ask me shit. <laughs> he just did. Hey, huh? I yeah, ain't, he, I ain't, there, I ain't, he, he kind of told I'm, you I'm as far as yeah. building, there we go, building yeah, the personality, not building necessarily a sound just or the music, trust. even though he was doing both. Yeah, build, just building trust. Uh, if I'm verb, how do I get my audience to give a fuck about me when I'm not battling? Right. All the money dudes, mm. their their goal is how do I get my money to make money for me right. when I'm sleep. Like, all of us could go outside with our best attribute and get the results that our best attribute has always gotten us. Okay. That means it's our job to use our our time and our focus to figure out, hey, what do I do when that's not my ability? Well, look look at your attribute and what it is. It's the ability to talk to people and have perspective. And you also have a platform where there's no clear winner. It's okay. debated every single day. Every time. In the comments every single time. Mm-hmm. Who do you think they want to hear from on, on other battlers, on what they think, and who won? Of course. Man. And, and you guys won. are great with words, and you guys yeah. have great perspective. Probably a, a higher intellect level in that department than the average person. Man, so many so of what y'all else are so bright. Would, what but, else would we do with that but continue to talk? It's so oh, many, I definitely got a podcast so, for so, next month, though. <laughs> see, yeah, good, and, yeah. and, I, and I love to see it. Yeah. And I love to see it. And around. that is why I have... Some of you battle rappers come come here. Yeah. I I fuck with y'all, okay. and whatever y'all are pushing, it's my job to push. <laughs> it's my job hey, to push. I'm gonna hold you to this shit because I'm starting next month. Now when I hit you and say, "Hey, bro," oh no, well you didn't. Right, then when, when you start, you competition too now. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't this a bitch? <laughs> yeah, no, no, but 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 that I chicken. fuck with that. So many of y'all are so bright, and we only hear from y'all when you are tearing down your opponent. And yeah. don't take for granted. That your audience just wants to hear from you, period. Yeah. My mom gave me that when I was real young. Yo, however they are become attracted to you, let them. Mm-hmm. That means whether you want to sing, whether you want to rap, whether you want to dance, whether you want to act, whether you want to tell jokes and be silly, don't bock, don't sell yourself short. Right. Yeah. Attract whoever your personality is designed to fucking attract. Yeah. That's it. I'm a, that's that's, that's, that's that's my that's the end of my my. That's all yeah, I need. That's yeah. all I needed. Yeah, and as, as long as it's who's genuine, on, it'll be who, successful. Who's on your uh, battle battle Mount Rushmore, the, Verb? Give it to me. You can't give it. You can't do that. The reason why is because it's too many people that done too many different things. If if I mean, it's so many kings in this game. They have they have laid foundations. Five the people. That you can't do. Safe at the plate. We will have a challenge. Hey, hold on, well, I, you know I don't give a fuck about these niggas. You see how I am? At the end of the day, okay, if you want me to do it that way, I'm gonna pick all the St. Louis niggas. There that, it goes. But that's biased, though. No, that's what I said. Like y'all biased. Yeah, St. Louis. How we biased? <laughs> yeah. No, I have no shit. problem with the biased yeah, conversation because yeah, so yeah, there it goes. Me, we are biased. So yeah, what? We are biased. <laughs> Nah, because uh, people we have on a, on a Mount Rushmore is not just all New York. I've I've arguably beaten every nigga on Mount Rushmore, every single one. Every you ain't one. beat you ain't beat Lux. You hear what I said? Hold on, you hear what I said? Hold on, stop. stop. You beat Mook. Hold on, stop. Hold I was on. gonna. My next whoa, question was whoa, be the Mook. Whoa, we are not finna do that. Now look, we think, not. I'm just asking. Do you whoa, whoa we are not, not finna that, do that. Comment came was the Mook battle. We was asking earlier. We not finna do that. In your heart, do you feel like you beat Mook? I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, let me let me tell you something right now. Hold on. I'm not from New York City. I'm not from Houston. I heard three zero chance in both battles. You got to stand down. You got to just wear it on your shoulder. How what you want to look at? These thousands of people are saying 3-0, 3-0. Y'all dead. It's dead. Just wear it down. And just say sometimes well, I'm not everybody. Say warehouse is, uh, is oh. my, what? my way of judging a battle. Yeah, people okay, at, but everybody at gets an opinion. In Houston said that. Yeah, okay. Everybody gets an opinion. The fact of the matter is, I heard 3-0 both times. That's mm. it. You can't chat. It's there. It's documented. It's dead. That's 3-0 what it is. for you. Yes. What you mean for you? Okay, so which battle I lost to you? 
You lost, you lost Lux. the Lux battle. Uh, you Sh- think Shine? I lost the Lux? You lost the Lux battle. Yes. What rounds are Shine, I'll say. One and two. So Lux beat me two rounds in a row. You motherfuckers smoking dips over here. Y'all crazy. Okay. Why, why I don't, don't, think, all right, I don't so, smoke dip anymore. Dude, why? <laughs> <laughs> you sure? Great at the time. <laughs> yeah, man. You, you niggas still getting I'm not mad at dip, but I mean, I'm not doing it anymore. Where do you find it? But see, that's why. That's why. That's you why got it's, it. That's why it's always interesting talking to the actual battle, battle rappers right. because it's interesting getting y'all perspective. Okay, cool. But from just a fan's perspective, okay, the better bars came from Lux. Not yeah. saying you didn't show up. Do you feel you won the K Shine battle? No. Okay. All right. Well, no. that's what I'm that continuing that to say. That was a temp check. No. See, hold that on. That was a temp check. Hold on, hold on. That listen. was a temp check. Hold on, listen. I'm a realist, bro. That was a temp check. At the end of the day, listen, the culture... Do you, has, the do you culture feel like somebody wrote K-Shine's bars for that battle? I think that... I don't think he has a ghost writer. I think they might have put their heads together for me, yes. So why does K-Shine get so angry when I say what, what has been circulated let me do, in let, let battle me, Let me do go this. Ahead. Let go me ahead. Let me go back first. Go ahead. Uh, our culture deemed me the winner with them two battles. These our culture, the people that they uh, you got to stand down. They salute that. Our yeah, culture be stupid sometimes. Okay, so is it stupid for Lux or stupid for what? Because what battles Lux lost? None. He lost the move. Lost the move. That's all y'all think. What other battle he lost? Hey, wait, wait, time out, time out, time out. Wait before you say a word. Whoa! Before you say a word, what mm-hmm. I will say Hollow, is, Hollow, you can make a case. Hey, I don't think you can, you can, did, make, a you can make a case for all of them. I can make you a can case. make a case for all. Of them. I can make a case for Calico. Oh, yeah, you I, could too. Yeah, that Lux lost. Make, that that okay, third yes. round kind of threw the. You could, but you could, you could, but you can't. Yeah, you could. So, no, so you could make. So long. There was. So you could make a. You could make a case for Calico, but not for Verb. And Lux didn't have a third round with Verb. That's why I'm not with that. That shit I'm don't not, even make I'm sense. Come on, bro. That shit don't even make sense. I'm not agreeing with that. You can't make a. You can't. Lux didn't even have a third round against Verb. He did not. He rapped about nothing. His third round. He so lost the third. Okay, so but guess what? Our first two rounds are still arguable in our culture. Pick them. It, but I'm not mad if you say no. Yeah, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is arguable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like if you say okay, I like Lux. I'm cool with it. I'm never saying the verb didn't but, show up there. But, but if you, you say you did not show up for Shine, I did not. You know why? Because I didn't believe in him. That was on me though. I got caught slipping because I took the battle quickly. I didn't Shine wasn't the king then. He wasn't the king then. So at that time, like going back to what you said, that's honest. It was the money. That's honest. We was going for mm-hmm. the money, and at the same time, you know, I made a mistake. I did, and that's what gave him king shit. He came a king after that moment. I think These Lu- are facts. I think Lux is making that same mistake now, promoting promoting a battle with daylight while preparing for surf. Hurt. I think it's a mistake. Those two together were well, well, kind well, of crazy to it's me. It's a mistake. Yeah. Well, well, I'll tell it's you a this. tough back-to-back. That's, Regardless, that's a crazy back-to-back. In, in our culture, you got to salute me more because due to the fact I took Mook and Lux back-to-back on these battles, you're seeing them more on stage. These guys disappeared a long time. Now Verb, they're active. Verb, you sound ridiculous when you say that. Why? That's not true. How, so when do Lux battle? Every four or five years? When he feels like he, it. He just took four in a row, bro. When four he feel row. like battle and he battle. I'm not crediting you for for one of the greatest performers and lyricists in battle rap getting up saying, all right, I'm going to take this. I don't think everybody's worthy of a Lux battle. I thought you were. Worthy? This was, why are y'all pushing these niggas up? They're not shit, man. I just stood in front of these niggas. What do you mean? Worthy of Lux? That's Verb. what, listen, this is what y'all do wrong. But I, hold, but I hold you to that standard. But worthy of Lux? Yes. What the fuck is what, so worthy? We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. To the same degree, worthy. We're not going to do that, Verb. We're not going to do that, Verb. We're not going to do that, Verb. Are you worthy of a Lil Wayne verse? Worthy at the time? Yes and no. Yes and no. You got you to explain this shit. Yes and no. You got to explain this yes. shit. Yes. Yes. My God-given ability makes me make puts me privy to rap in any circle of rappers. Okay, that's just that's that's just that's period. That's a fact. Now, when you get into the business of it, mm-hmm. I haven't been worthy to rap with plenty of plenty of the top tier rappers when it comes to business. I should have never been on a song with Lil Wayne when it comes to the business. You know how that song happened, Maul. <laughs> I would have never called Lil Wayne to say, yo, dog, I got this record. I think it might be cool. Right. Like, we should fuck with each other. Yeah. Even after Wayne saying to me, yo, hit me. Yeah. <laughs> hit me for a song. Right. Maul had to put the uh, uh, put the charge in me like, yo, you, ne- you never know until you call. Right. Like, and you should, you should call. Right. So, yes and no. Yes, okay. I should rap. I have the ability to rap with anybody that raps. Same way you feel about about Lux. Right. When we start talking about Lux at a different stratosphere, yeah. it's because of some intangible things, not just rap. I, like I said, you got up there and rap with him. Yeah, like great rap. Yeah, I, I, f- I feel like Verve feel like 
he don't get the. Re- I feel like you feel like you don't get the respect. That no, you no, 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 no. In my culture, that's got to be crazy. No, no, no. Yeah, in, in, in my culture, I, I get my respect yeah, yeah, fully. Yeah. No, because I, yeah. I mean, we know that you're yeah. capable and you should be capable. In the I'm same. a god, ma. See no, that vegan? So you're not. You're <laughs> I not, think so. You're not. You're, I not, think so. you're not. See, you're, you're not woke enough. That's why you can't tell. When you told me you was a vegan, then you told me you eat fish. That's why I'm not going to listen to you. That shit don't even make sense. <laughs> First of all, I was joking with the vegan thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. But, no, like, but we know that you're. You should be in the same. No, room I with, am, ma. Look, no, no, we're no. not going to shoot shit. No, no, no. I am. I'm sit here with these niggas. No, you're not. I'm saying that when you're when it comes to arguing. Who not? What? You not? You know I opened the door for a whole motherfucking region of people. Fam. You know, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. What's going on? We're not doing that. 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 We're not it's a different time. He came before me. Mm. There were things that he faced that I didn't have to. There mm. were things that he fixed for me okay. on my travels. So regardless of my rapping ability, guess what? Mm. That's my OG. Mm. And when you are my OG, there are just certain respects that I as an MC pay. That's a fact. To my mm. OGs. That's a fact. Lux. I'm not talking about rapping. Okay. He's an OG. The, actually, and y'all want to strip y'all want to strip him of his OG status. You started battle rapping because, because of ba- love. Because he's back in the field. Let me say and I something. think that's wrong. Right or wrong. You started battle rapping because wrong. of love. Let me let me let me stop you. Rex you, Mook Lux. Listen, listen. Let him talk. Listen, let him get it you're off. telling me and not asking me shit. You're telling me something. You're not <laughs> even asking bias. me. Balls bias. Right, right, right. But that's a fact, okay. though. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It's you're, on tape. No, no, no. When St. Louis came, they were standing in Harlem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It was a privilege Hold for y'all on. to be standing whoa, in battle with Rex. Whoa, we now. Battle. Y'all was, y'all was asking you. for battles. No, no, stop. To be recognized. See, listen, you sound like a fool. Our coach is going to light you up right now. Give it to us. Okay, listen, let me tell you something, What I was doing in St. Louis was already moving. Lux reached out because he saw what we was doing. I'm not saying it was. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So listen, I never told Lux that I was a rapper. At all, I was running a business. Like what you talking about? I was putting niggas on stage and paying them to pay to come rap. When me and Lux had the first conversation, he found out who I was. Said, hey man, I heard you was that. That's what okay. we was supposed to be sheep, bro. We weren't supposed to win. We was supposed to get killed by goods, arson, ice, and we was target practice. It just didn't go that way. See, the thing is, uh, that's what I said in my rounds. I'm not one of them. See, we were supposed to be bait. That event was packed. It was a money mission, just like you said. Sometimes mm-hmm. you're set up Give for shit to, to go. Yeah. We were targets. I'm just not one of them, bro. I'm a dog for real. And it just went wrong. Lux did not. So is Lux at the top? Yes. Well, he, I know his, him versus Miles, word for word, man, that dude is the truth. Like that's not, we're not taking that from him ever. But at the same time, if you play on the court, the rules are for you. That's what they are. If you're that's on true. the court, like there is no game in the world where the rules change for this nigga. And the rules change. No, we play the same game. No, the rules change for some. For who? The rules change for LeBron a little bit. I was going to say, yeah. They do. When they you came, the rules change. They deleted all right. footage get and get dumped whistle. on. James Harden hey, do too. Hey, Duke, James Harden do too. Duke, Duke gets a different whistle. I'm gonna stand down. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna stand down. Yeah. So all I'm saying is, when y'all was doing what y'all was doing in St. Louis, yeah. before y'all started doing that, yeah. y'all knew who Lux was. Y'all knew yes. who Mook was. Yeah, we had y'all no knew choice. who T Rex was. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. But, by when I hey, say that they, hey, but, but the they MC sparked me, that. Wait, that's all I'm saying. They sparked the world. Let me interject. That's all I'm saying. Let me interject real quick. What you saying is a fact, Maul. The MC in me, mm-hmm. I side with Verb. Mm-hmm. I don't care who you are. If you stand in front of me and it's I, time, if it's I, time I, to I go to that, war, I damn. agree with that. I'm on me. I yeah. agree with that, but we're not <laughs> going. We're not going to act like we're not going to act like Kobe didn't know who MJ was. We're not going to act like James Harden didn't know who D Wade was. No, but we're not one hundred percent. So you always time know. To get on the court, that's what yeah. Verb is saying yeah, about when, when the coin flip. Yeah, we're, when like it's when time, we, I agree. Up? Yeah, I agree. I'm well, not all I'm saying here. is that Lux is where he's at, and we place him where we place him because he was the dude that was walking to niggas blocks battling them. We all did that, Ma. We just didn't. We just not. I'm not saying y'all, no. I'm not saying yeah. y'all didn't. I'm just yeah. saying when y'all started doing it, y'all got it because y'all seen them doing it. Well, and y'all, and, and battle rap is y'all sport out here. Let's get that straight. Right, that's this all is y'all I'm saying. Sport. That's all I'm saying. No, 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 no. What rap? 
hip hop period yeah. is y'all's sport. There we go. Give it to us. That's I was I was on Sedgwick. But listen, at the, <laughs> at the same time, y'all remember how Outkast was frustrated at them awards? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. No, I get it. Yeah, right. no, no, okay. I understand yes, yes, what you're yes, saying. Yes, yes, yes. Same thing. And which is why I'm saying I we yeah, niggas right. respect you. Don't get yeah, it right. fucked up. Yeah, I know that. But I'm just saying because you you seem like you don't understand why we put Lux will be put him. He gotta be okay. I'm gonna tell and you. I'm right telling now. you why we put him where we put him. If you put him in that class, he gotta walk on another side of the street. Then he can't come over here. Because once you come in this world, you're one of us. That's, that's, a fact. It, it, that's But the, he's holding his got own. It, got it, got it, got okay, it, got listen. So yeah, but he you, but he moves that way. He ain't and walk, behaves okay. that way. But he ain't walking don't, over there getting eight. Okay, look. You he see, walking you over there bumping into you niggas. Look, look. You see how you said I don't. I'm not doing rap no more. Okay, if you want to be held at that status, go over there and go. Don't come over here because when you get over here, it's war. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta come over. But here. he's built for that though. He's built and, for. Hey, it. I feel the same way about. We me. all are. I, I think it's a few dudes that's trying me in my retirement that think it's sweet. That I think is sweet. So do something I'm, about it. No. Oh, right. <laughs> no. They, you going Stanley. in the house, they, man? They're not worth. It's not profitable for Joe right now. Hey, my, we, my, we gonna talk off my, camera. My, 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 hey, my my time is my inventory today. Talk your shit. It's, it's not about nothing else but my time. Talk your How shit. am I allocating my time? Mm -hmm. Every time one of these niggas say my name, mm -hmm. I envision what it's like to allocate time to them. Mm -hmm. Rory was there when I heard the Drake no shopping this and seeing what I did. I get straight to it. Right. I go, niggas ain't willing to go to the lengths that I'm willing. I'm going to go spend a night in the studio. Five, you drop five records, bro. I'm, I'm, you know I'm that, that's what Joe's willing to do. Today, yeah. nah, that was self-serving. Cause I love to rap. That rapping was self serving. So right. today, when I'm not doing that, no, nah, I got kids. I got other shit to do. Yeah. No, you just saying my name is not going to get me to dedicate my next nine hours to showing you that I could tear you apart. But right. I could. Right, right. I That's how you. I feel today. But that don't mean that, nigga. No, I got, I, no, no, I got you. I, look, I respect that fully, bro. I respect that fully. But like I said, he's always gonna be held up here because that's what he is, bro. I just listen to what I'm telling you. And that's all we say. All respect him and Mook. Not just, not just Lux. Mm -hmm. Him and Mook. yeah, because yeah, yeah, they yeah. both pioneered a lane for people. Facts. That's a, that's you know a what fact. I'm saying? That's a look. That my first battle in, in the street when I smoked one of y'all on in the street. That's how I got me moving. Mook was standing right there and he was amazed because mm -hmm. he said, "I never heard nobody do that before." You know what I'm saying? So we watch them. It's just like watching Mike shoot the fade away. Okay, then you get Kobe. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. everybody gets something from somebody. Mm -hmm. That's true. So yeah. it, it, only a fool is not going to soak up information. Only a fool. Right. That's true. That's so fact. yeah, so we get them smack DVD tapes and we watch and we study and we say, mm -hmm. okay, what do I like what he got? Mm -hmm. Let me add that. Let me turn this this way. Let me, mm -hmm. and that's how you get another MC. Who, Are, who, will you ever battle Hitman? Have, will I? Mm -hmm. They did. What you mean? See, you, battle? you ain't even in the culture, man. You ain't no fucking oh, I, I don't. I don't see every battle. No, no, no. Oh no! no, no, no talk no, to no. Hey, Joe. No, talk to your was, man, no, no, man. Get your man. Yeah, that was the one. <laughs> Who won? That was the one. Listen, listen. That's a classic. That's a good question. That's one of the best that's battles in battle I can't history. Ask for history. One, no, 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 no. True. That's LeBro. So that's it's one of the best battles in battle history. And like he told you, that's where Lux got his third round for dude. He's one of my. He's one of my favorites. It's true. I like. I like Hitman a lot. That. But now that battle only happened. Y'all weren't on the best of terms at the time. Well, we always we brothers. I like, remember that. No, yeah. I now remember nigga, that. Brothers, yeah. my ass. Y'all battled. Yeah, brothers can battle. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, all the time. And I brothers can, and brothers cannot be on the best of terms. I got uh, brothers more, more, yeah. more times have, than most. Yeah, I got brothers. Yeah. I know yeah. how that goes. Yeah, that's a fact. So so y'all weren't on the best of terms. Y'all mm -hmm. battled, and now everything is peaches and, and cream. That battle was one of the best battles ever. No, I remember it. Yeah. Now. What happened to the um? That's Gerald and the yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, no, I remember it now. And also y'all, Lux said in his third round versus Calico. You remember when Verb did this? Check mm -hmm. the child. Mm -hmm. That's where that round was inspired from. Okay, so at the same time, we take from them, you, they take from yeah, us. You made it a hotline. Come on, yeah, man. He made it a hot song. I don't care don't what it was. It a hot song. <laughs> we he did. Made it look, a hot hey, song. look, all I did was put it in the universe and you did what you did with it, like sampling a song. Who won that right. battle between you and Hitman? I think it's a classic, bro. That's not the, and that's no it's it's a classic. Down to the wire. It's a classic. Comes up firing. Here's the throw to the plate, and he <laughs> is safe. I said what I said, man. We don't have a challenge. He's not the guy in the game. He says something. No, it's a classic. It's a classic. It was one other but dude from St. Louis we that know I like. I forgot his name. Ill Will. Hitman won. Hitman won. What's up with Ill Will? What do you mean about him? He don't, he don't, he's not active no more? I don't, yeah. I mean, I think he's still doing his thing. Oh, uh, Verb don't fuck with him. He don't fuck with him. I mean, no, you see, see, y'all yeah. take it. I don't fuck with him. I don't talk to him on the phone, no. Yeah, you don't that, fuck That means you don't fuck with him. I, that's okay. no, no, that's I don't, I don't like to use the term I don't, I don't fuck with. But I like them though. Like, if yeah, I don't talk to somebody on the phone ever, I don't. I like them. Yeah, that's not fuck with them. That just means that's passively not fucking with them. Yeah, I mean, it's not. I don't have a personal relationship. That means that means he's not my cup of tea. 
Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I, but I'm, I don't like people. I get like it, though. though. I get yeah. it. I totally understand. Uh, who, who, who you got in uh, Lux's next two? Since you got away. Hey, oh, uh, just say you got away from him after he fell off. Just say it. Who, Ill Will? Yeah. No, no, no. I, I never was in his path. I mean, we never had a relationship well, to him. Acknowledge him falling off. No, I'm not, man. He doing what he doing, bro. I don't know what I don't know what he's doing now. I'm just I, I don't about... either. So we, I don't know if he's falling yeah, off. Yeah, that's right. Let's yeah, move on. Yeah, let's yeah. move on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fuck, hey, y'all, do y'all know I do this on a regular basis? Y'all yeah. can't bake hands and shit. Y'all can't bake hands and shit. Yeah. Yeah. I just my job, bro. Verb, bro. Yeah. Why, why, why are you insta snapping uh, females on? Uh, in, why are you doing insta lives with these females? On I like Instagram? women. What, what's bro. happening? I like women, just it, like you do. Why you fuck the same girl over and over again? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck you talking about, man? Yeah, quit like talking him. to me, man. Look, see, I like Don't him. ask me no dumb ass questions. He I asked me, you, Joey fucked the same girl over and over and over. Again. I fuck with him. Man can't step out of his box at all. He do the no. same shit over. Every no. all his girls look the exact same. You got a fucking problem. You get sick, that nigga, Verb. Yo, you yeah. gotta, you gotta relax. Yo, Verb, you, get that. Yo, but dude you got, sick, but man. you gotta chill out though, cause you got. Yo, oh. dude, sick. <laughs> dude, sick. <laughs> Yo, Joe Budden gets such a bad rap. Honestly, I, mean, I get a bad as long rap. As it's not just oh, he it whatever. They always in St. Louis. They feel like that yeah, about we, you. Yeah, we, yeah, always he, did, he did it again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> did it another again. one. There it is. Same girl. Over. Insert brain hurt. It's the same girl, dude, bro. Holy shit. Insert brain hurt, bro. It's the same girl, bro. Yo, who's what? next? Who's next for you? Yeah, uh, well, yeah, yeah. Who you well, want? Well, first, you want? first, let's do Surf and Lux, like you said. You said what we're doing. Oh, yeah, ask next Since it was on the Lux topic. Both dangerous battles. Um, like I told Surf, I said, if Surf step out of his body, he can do this. Luck's coming for blood. But Surf got to step out of his body just a little bit. I agree. To deal with that. Lux is coming. Lux is coming to break something. I agree. Because he wants to break something. You know he what I'm saying? You got to prove a point now. But Surf has all the ability and power, star power, fan favorite to crack him. Mm-hmm. Yes, he does. If he get in a certain it, bag, he can crack. And if I think surf can bag, give another perspective. That but it has to be gives. a Surf that we've never seen. Surf got to get away from the people he's around. He get away from them, clear his head, and, and zone out, he'll be another person. Well, that's just in life. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. He, he, if he do that, it's, it's up. Daylight dangerous, too, because he got the same power. And Daylight don't give a fuck. Daylight might fall to his knees and try to neck him or something during this round. He's no day, telling what day, the fuck day, Daylight would do. Daylight is the only person that I say, all right, now, now you are you, you, you facing him. You they face, like you, you know how dangerous they We're gonna have to yeah. watch that battle five times him. to oh, yeah, figure sure. out who won that. You, you, <laughs> you face him a, now. He has two risky the, next fights, bro. They very dangerous. Od, this is gonna tell the story. You actually right, verb. We'll come back this, and talk this, after this, it's over. This will tell the story because if he don't get through these, he's mortal <laughs> like us, bro. You got to bring him over here with us. And I think that Surf is gonna damage him enough to where he ain't gonna be what he should be in front of standing in front of daylight. That's what I Put, think. Putting those two back to back that quick. That's what yeah, I think. It's a, it's a risk. Uh-uh, we're not doing that that quick, man. Some of us go on stage three times a month, man. It's either you with it or you're not, bro. So I'm talking about bro. the opponent. The opponents are dangerous. I wouldn't play with daylight like that. They, they I like play with neither of them like that. Daylight is a freak, man. His rhyme pattern, the level of genius that boy got, yeah. Yeah. and he'll do anything. Yeah. Nah. And, and he's been writing for Lux for ten years. <laughs> yeah, I don't. <laughs> for I, don't, sure. I, don't I, love, I love Surf, but I don't think that Surf is uh, is going to be as tough as of an opponent as a. Uh, Daylight will be for luck. Oh, I don't know. Well, see, him and Daylight are speed fighters. Same skill. Yeah. Same skill. And that's why I think Surf has yeah. a They're both difficult so for different it. reasons. He's yeah, so you're right. something you're different. They're, right. both di- they're difficult for different reasons. Yeah, you're, exa- you're exactly right. Because everything that Surf do, Lux can't get up there on his power shit that he try to do oh, with nah. Surf. Because Surf's not going to play that game. And if, if, like you say, Surf get out of his body and give a different perspective than Surf usually gets, Surf is going to be the victor. He got star power. But He's now you, you staring at your little brother with daylight as far as that rapidy rap rap. Uh, this is my perspective. This is who I am. Mm. Shit. Daylight's not to be played with with Lux in that same capacity. That's a that's a terrible two that you going yeah. after. If he if he get it, he he, he is who he is. What do you think about what do you think about these new face offs? Face off like what? Well, uh where before the battle Smack will have the the sit down. I think I think it's cool. <clears throat> I mean I, I think it's cool for, it's like for wrestling. Like but bad things are gonna get said. Like when I did a face off with DNA and I brought it to him that you don't know how to drive a car. That <laughs> shit hurts. Like see you see now look see and then to justify I said hey listen all this shit sound good but do you know how to drive a car <laughs> and the nigga told me no I don't know how to drive a he's car he's from Queens he should know how to drive a he car he said I don't know how to drive a car I no, bought a car really drive cars yo said. actually I'm so glad you brought that up yeah that those sen- seniority bars mm-hmm. do it 
for me. And that's another reason why Lux, I hold him in a different. All the things that you continue to say to DNA, right? you should. Yeah. I believe it. I'm with it. I'm like, yes. Yeah. Finally, somebody Man, is just talking saying, to him, yeah. hey, all you niggas is geeks. <laughs> that was my whole thing. Y'all. Tech. It's different. It's yeah. just different, man. When so that's what Lux was on saying on the stage with you. He, I am him. That was his version of what you be saying to DNA. Yeah. And anytime a nigga rightfully can do that, boy, is Joe a huge fan of it. Man, it's, I, it's, am. It's, I am. It's a beautiful thing to sit at the cool table, bro, and just say, "Hey, bro, look, I it's know, true. I know that it's that's true. not that's not real with you, bro. Come on, like you know, like I told him, bro. Like when I leave, my bitch tell me she love me." I go play ball and miss a call. She yeah. start texting me, "Fuck me," because she can't trust me. Yeah, like you don't, you'll yeah, never understand that. Yeah, you'll never understand that yeah, type of shit. Man. You know what I'm saying? Because it don't fit. It don't. Yeah, it's yeah, just, no. it's just like yeah. All you doing is pushing them niggas back in the lockers. Like, How old are you? Me, thirty five. Yeah, I, like all I do. Where is I, man? He's just sensitive, but he. I'm wrong. Oh no, no. See, no. I just <laughs> could have came up under here, B. No, no. I just got a lot, I, look, got a lot look, of me. Hey, look. Hey, look. I just, I just, I just. A lot of me. I see it. I see it. I see it. I just defend what I, I like. I stand for what I stand for, and I represent what I represent. Like I don't, I don't, I don't bend, I don't fold, man. I believe this. This is what it is. I respect. Yeah, like that's bro. what it is. Like, I'm not political. It. I'm gonna say whatever the fuck I want at all times. Like that's just who I am, bro. I, I, I never been different. Uh, that, I that's, that's that's all. I got a new. That's, I got a new. That's, that's all I got for Verb. Man. I always yeah. fucked with you that's as a battle that's, rapper. That's, I got that's, a that's all I got for Verb. Y'all got something yeah. else for Verb? That's it, man. We can leave. I don't know. I know. Fuck um, who, who's next? Yeah, we who's going next? In. Who's next for you? Uh, I don't know yet. We 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 working right now on that right now. But I'm podcast start next month. That's where I'm at with it. What's the name of it? Yeah, I need to. Uh, well, I don't want to tell y'all because it's business. Well, now, how about that? Well, well you, when you get it going, yeah, but look, it's not. It's change not all, the name of our I, podcast. I no, no, I don't have a. Um, I don't have a solid one that I okay. enjoy. Okay. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's coming soon. Though. Like right. next month, we start filming. It's crazy. So you, you, you in that same boat that you hate that I put Lux in? Like you can't take every battle. Like a yeah. dude standing before you, that that's the look. Yeah, and you kind of got to acknowledge that. So you you gotta. Yeah. You got to maneuver out here. Oh no, I'm, I'm definitely happy to be here, especially this long. Because coming from where I'm, where I'm come from, we don't have opportunity like that. Like our ideas, I heard it's a beautiful situation for y'all and shit. Mm -hmm. Like this is, this like the land of milk and honey for mm -hmm. artists and mm -hmm. people. Like that ain't where I'm at. Right. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm before you before you leave, uh -huh. do you have? Give me the battle rappers that you think the battle rappers are afraid to face. Because oh, I have a shit. list. Oh wow, afraid. Ooh. I have a list. But, uh, Danny Myers, um, mm -hmm. Daylight, O Red, um, JC is a, a MC that people don't want to face. It's just the only thing JC is, is nice. you can't get the money for him. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like we'll take him, but nobody the wants money. To, nobody want to pay for him. That's the problem. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's like I don't hate on none of these niggas, bro. They all these niggas are the best guys. Hitman. Ice Pack, these guys are dangerous, bro. Mm -hmm. And like when they own, they own. There's no turning them off. Like I know a lot of MCs like that. Danger Zone is like that. People don't know it. He, when he own, he own. Mm -hmm. G Dot. JC, yeah. I see people being afraid of, but like you said, it's the money issue. Yeah, there I'm not gonna work him. hard, bro. Yeah, I know. I get it. No, I no. If you, it's because it, nobody ever want to pay us the money that we deserve and get on a regular basis for him yeah. because it don't come back. It's yeah. not the way it's off. So it's it. like, yeah. So will we take him? Yeah. But nobody going to give you money for it. I think a lot of people are afraid of twerk. I do. Twerk, twerk is one of the, and one of the most influential because everybody doing what he doing now. Mm -hmm. So twerk is the, the last new face that's five star dangerous, bro. Like that when he's on, He's on, bro. Yeah. It's, it's, I stood it's in front of him. You know what I'm saying? I, I stood, Yeah, I stood in front of him. So it. when you know, when you learn, you say, mm, mm -hmm. this, this kid got it. Yeah. That kid got it. And when he get his head in the game, he's going to be something. Yeah. yeah. He, he's mm -hmm. going to be something unstoppable. For yeah, a fact. True. Yeah. Well, uh, shit, Verb. I appreciate y'all, man. I guess the I, last, I, last yeah. quick thing I have. Yeah, sure. uh, of course, the chicken, steak, everything we eat, there's poison in it. I yeah. agree. <laughs> um, it is delicious. I want to point that out. Yeah. But do you not I think that... I want to point that out. <laughs> okay. That's my, well, well, no, 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 no. I had a you. question. I had a question. Go ahead, yeah. Do you not think that there's not poison in that bottled water that you're drinking? Well, listen, it's poison everything. You want to limit it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? A bitch can still burn you with a condom on. Hello, what's mm. up? It's, well, it's, you're still burning. It's the same thing, bro. <laughs> it's still, okay. Like, you got to think, is that, is that chicken delicious if you open it out the pack and just eat it? No, your body going to reject it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because my so body gotta, is conditioned to not eat raw, raw meat. chicken. 
but but but, <laughs> <laughs> but it's 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 not gonna eat raw meat. But if you put that in your system, it's gonna push it straight out. That's just okay. what you gotta trick your body to eat that shit. You gotta burn it, season it all down, you gotta lie to your body. And, and, now, it's and now, you- now you guys are just seasoning it with the word alkaline and saying it's healthy. I'm just saying everything has poison in it. That's the only thing I was getting at. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, t- I'm just saying, turn limit. it down. When, when yeah. I was eating chicken, I was fucking all some of the wildest shit. I was doing wrong. Mm-hmm. I was doing wrong. <laughs> no, but I don't, soon I don't, I don't so vegan, so being, being vegan, I'm about to fuck with you a little yeah, So being vegan helped you in your choice of women. Oh, did it? Damn, right. Hell yeah. It's like now, like, when you go vegan, you and I even, I used to be one to fuck everybody, her, her sister, her auntie. I mm-hmm. want to fuck them all mm-hmm. within a week. Mm-hmm. But now it's like, nah, now I should sit down and watch TV. I was on some Joey shit at the time. Same yeah. girl over and over again. Right. But 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 soon as I clear my head, I like different things now. I, 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 just, I just want to point out to it you that sense. it's really shallow for you to assume that I'm dating the same woman over and over. <laughs> well, we can always wait, pull wait, it hold up. up. We can ba- always pull ba- it up. Wait, hold up. Based off physical appearance, mm, that's not woke. So, that, so, that's so not let's woke. ask you. That, that, that's, that's, not not, woke. that's not woke at all. No. So, 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 so let's ask you then, my brother. So, do you like other styles of women? Because we haven't <laughs> seen that. We haven't seen that. You you buying Air Force Ones, the same one over and over again. I mean, it's a good shoe. He pod. Uh, yeah, no, I mean I know. No, he died right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, and first of all, you, came your in. city made a whole song about that shoe. Yeah, he yeah. pod. He pod right You're now. Right. Yeah, it's like okay, you like the same thing over and over and over again. Nothing wrong with that, but you got to be real with yourself first. Oh, uh, right. I think I know. What he it needs. Is, he man. needs two purses. I think, I think I know what he needs three purses. Oh, Vert tight. They don't have Dominicans in St. Louis. We don't. We don't. You been there? I'm here. I'm here. What it is? We don't. We no. We don't. You know what I like? I like the little hood red build I like the little small waist fat ass long weed mm. I like so that. you like what Joe like <laughs> <laughs> so it's really the same <laughs> shit niggas like the same all right, well, shit alright this is okay. over this like over it's Joe done like. it's done we, when I start losing uh, I leave <laughs> it's over <laughs> <laughs> Cool when y'all lose. I'm out. Uh, Yo, I want to thank Bird for coming. Well, appreciate right. y'all. Thank appreciate y'all. y'all. Thank, this was thank, cool, I appreciate man. y'all. All thank you for long. coming. Yeah. I really appreciate you. I, I'm going to sure. say this. I hope Lux don't get mad. You might you might be my favorite battle rap conversation that we've had. Definitely. Oh, well, yeah, you Definitely. had a robot sitting yeah. up here, bro. He's a robot. Don't, nah, nah, man. Man. Hey, don't do that to Lux. Uh, He's such a hater, he man. Get the fuck out of here. What are you talking about? He was a fucking robot. He's a polite person. He was polished is what he was. No, 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 no. He was a robot. He had somebody with him answering questions with him. What do you think? Like you, you stood in front of him. I don't remember that part. Do, do, do you see? Yeah. Do you see the conversation I gave y'all? Because when you told Lux, he just ah yeah baby, and he just took everything you said. That ain't for me. I'm going to give you my perspective. <laughs> That's what it is. So you, Yo, you want Lux? Wait you want to battle Lux again? No, no, no. I can't wait to You want to battle Lux again? Lux is podcast. the truth, bro. Yeah. He the truth, bro. bro you gotta get your podcast out. I'm, yeah. I'm listening to it, guys. Yeah, sure. You, go, are you gonna come on it? I, Fuck yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, All right, yeah, bet. I will. You fucking right. I'm gonna hold you to that. No, please do, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man. This was fucking awesome. Yes, sir. That was dope. Uh, mic check, mic, mic, my mic, my mic, mic, mic. We got you heard what he said, Lux? You heard him? Part two. I was watching the uh, I was watching some more of the Netflix hip hop doc, of course. Man, what a great doc. Um, Large Professor needs a little more respect on his name. For sure. Absolutely. I had no idea that he basically taught like all the geniuses back then how to use the SP-1200. Yeah. <laughs> and mm-hmm. he ghost produced a lot of uh, Eric B. and Rakim shit, a lot of Cool G rap shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they got into all that. Went, they went back to the uh, start of hip-hop on Sedgwick with the... Holy Trinity and Bambada and Flash and oh they're gonna kill me now Herc Herc, mm-hmm. Herc. it's good it's yeah, just it's good man good. check yeah, it I still out gotta watch the new seasons yeah no nah, it's really 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 good still yeah. uh thank you all for listening man I want to thank Verb for stopping by uh, I want everybody to enjoy their week and have a nice peaceful weekend I'm sure we'll all watch the Grammys like a family and clown them uh rory's out he'll be at the grammys covering for the podcast <laughs> i'll be on the red carpet mm-hmm. yes he's okay probably, he's probably nominated we soon, just don't know soon come it. yeah soon come mm. couple brunches oh i'm gonna love that when emotional oranges wins an award says nah rory come up here <laughs> <laughs> get up here nah say a little something say a little something <laughs> They, All right, so what if I shout you out? Then what? They gonna cut the music on on Rory <laughs> shouting me out. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and a big part of this was Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> Mo, what's up? What's up? What you went to this weekend, man? We won't see you, so 
I don't know. I'm just chilling. <laughs> All right. Parks, what you got? Keep it low. All right. <laughs> yeah. This podcast just divulges too much. <laughs> no big plans. Yeah, man. no plans. I got no plans. This what you getting into? Can't say. Okay. Nah, mm. Top secret. All right. Mm. It's going to be a good weekend, huh? Jersey brunch? <laughs> you exchanging some jerseys this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. That stupid park too. <laughs> it's gonna be a good weekend, huh? <laughs> Don't hum me. A great weekend. <laughs> no, I'm not doing nothing, man. I'll be in the house. It's my weekend to catch up on shows. Uh, I got to catch up on uh, a million little things. Came back out. I got to see that. I have yet to see one single episode of Ozark season two. I got to catch that before season three comes oh, out yeah. in March. You do yeah. definitely. Do. I'm watching all the old ones. Again. I heard it was good. I have to see that. I caught up on uh, uh, the Outsiders or Outsider. Rather, I, I don't think to, there's I an S. Single, I, yeah. I'm going to start that. Three episodes in, it's a quick three. Yeah. Uh, I'm watching both the Power Leaked episodes this weekend. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, I'm catching up on TV this week. You ever find yourself just ripping and running too much, and one day you just wake up at home like, yo, I've totally neglected myself, my house, yeah, everything. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Like, let me just take a minute for me now. Well, well, according, the- according to Janae, that's that's her time. <sighs> it's not yeah, yours. It's not your time. That's true. Mm-hmm. That is you know what? <laughs> I want to thank you guys for listening, man. We are getting the fuck out of here. Enjoy yourself. I'll talk to y'all on Wednesday, man. Want it.